Welcome to Atlanta, Jack and Hammers and Bones. Yo, Back what is going and down, and y'all? Welcome in the most underrated podcast. Thomas the Franchise, the homie Dow Palantonio sitting across from me, broadcasting from Certified Tattoo Studios. The homie JJ Stringstein down here at the end of the table, doing his thing as always. Scrolling some news on the phone, some last minute fucking news, JJ, for us. Just some more sneaker stuff, actually. Dude, welcome to Atlanta. Mm. We are officially here. Well, we're not there, but uh, hopefully next year, dude. If we if we can get this podcast big enough within this year's time, I think we can get a spot on Radio Row. Dude, we would have the most unique, because it's all sports talk. Right. You know what I mean? It's all fucking sports talk across the whole uh, Radio Row. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you're unfamiliar, they do a thing called Radio Row for the Super Bowl, where literally, I mean, it's Jim Rome, it's Dan Patrick, it's fucking uh, all the Rich Eisen. It's, yeah. it's the who's who, plus a bunch of other local sports talk shows from different markets. I know our big station here in Denver, the station I lost the contest on, our sports talk station, they go there every year, and they're broadcasting live every show from morning to night, all their shows all day long, Monday through Friday. Friday. So, dude, you just get you get to talk to guests uh, you normally wouldn't talk to. Yeah. There's just so many cool fucking things. Plus, dude, we would be able to talk to like the fools about sneakers and like take it away from the Super yeah. Bowl or away from sports. Uh, what's the latest style at the bowl? Right. You know what's happening? Right. Who's the who's who? And man, all the pop culture. We're gonna stuff? be there. I don't know if it's next year, but yeah. we're gonna fucking be there. Dude, totally. this shit's gonna be big enough to that point where, uh, and we're gonna have enough where we're mixing up the content. So your your hard hitting sports fans may not really fuck with our show, right? But it's gonna be the people that like a little bit of sports, they like some pop culture, and they like some fucking sneakers too. I think we would have a fire show down there. But nonetheless, the Super Bowl has invaded Atlanta. Mm. I've seen all the early. Uh, I listened. To, I was listening to some early sports talk on the way in this morning. We had a terrible, terrible blizzard here in Denver this morning. The worst. Woke up to. Uh, I don't know what do we what do we say about four or five inches of snow out there. Yeah, you know, at least depending on where you're at. Yeah, in the yeah. city for sure. So it took me on a normal 20, 20 to thirty minute drive to get here. Uh, it took me an hour and forty five this yep. morning. If you follow me on the socials, you saw that the shit is iced over. What about you, fellas? You guys have the same kind of issue? Yeah, same thing. It took like an hour. It wasn't hour? too bad. Yeah, yeah. the but, four the forerunner ate the snow alive. I wasn't afraid of that, man. Right, it's the fucks all in front of you. Traffic. You know, it's just is so slow. Yeah, man. it's so not, slow yeah. today. Yeah, it's not the car necessarily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, my car is probably not obviously not as good as yours in the snow. But mm-hmm. I had a couple little issues on side streets, not getting stuck, but just sliding a little bit. Nothing sure. too crazy. Just kind of taking it a little slower. But uh, I think pretty much. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know if any tattoo appointments are going to come in today. I don't know. I mean, half the artists are missing. Now, we're here a little early, but it's... Uh, still. Yeah, it's it's getting to opening time here, and I still don't see the full staff, so I think a lot of other people having issues getting here. Public yeah. transportation's probably an issue. I know there's some fools that ride the, ride the light rail, ride the bus and shit to get here, take Ubers. So, uh, just a mess all over in the CO today. Uh, but we're here for you guys, man. We almost I thought Dallas, when he texted me this morning, I thought he was trying to bail on the cast. He's like, dude, <laughs> he showed me a screenshot of his fucking map, and it was like... Like 54 <laughs> minutes from his house to the cast, which yeah. is like, okay, I'm like, an hour, that's not bad. And then we actually got in the car, it ended up being almost double, like yeah. just quick one hour, 45, hour and a half, whatever. So uh, crazy on the way here today, man. Um, how was your weekend overall, Dal? Uh, the weekend was cool, man. Uh, you know, the, the one thing that wasn't cool, so we can start it off by uh, Thursday, remember? We went and picked up the shoes. Oh, the Hypers. The Hyper Crimson, yep. man. Yep. What'd you think in hand? Uh, dude, when, we, once we finally saw him, because oh, I know you're a big in hand guy. I was gonna, I was planning on wearing them today, and then right. we just got this dumping of fucking snow, and I was like, dude, I'm not gonna wear. Uh, I don't want to get want wear that suede out in the snow and sure. get it all wet. But I still did wear a pair of Jordan ones, fly knit uh, Jordan ones. So still not a great outfit choice there. Right. Um, but surprisingly, my feet are completely dry. Like the fly knit. It, it may be wet on the outside, but it didn't leak any cool. water into the shoe. So uh, for those wondering. I'm not saying they're waterproof. I'm not saying like you got the ATR, I got the ATR Ultra yeah. Boost on. Um, so I'm not saying they're those, but dude, I'm very surprised. And the reason I was like, I was going to wear an Ultra Boost because I have a fucking um, Boost God shirt on. Right. Right. You know, so I was naturally like, it's not because it's Boost God, but just because I wanted to, I was just going to throw on my Sesame Yeezys. You know what I mean? Or sure. um, it kind of matches, you know, mm-hmm. I throw them on. I look outside. I was like, fuck no, dude, you, you, you take a couple steps and snow is just crushing or leaking into the top of your shoe. Easy. So I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna wear a high top. So I just threw on these fly knits. They're cream. They matched. Um, but then of course I got the Jordan ones on. I got the boost God thing on them. I know people are going to talk shit and roast me, but at the end of the day, I mean, you guys, if you guys want to play silly games with yourselves, it's fine. Yeah. Not even you guys in the comments. I'm not even talking to this audience directly. It's more the people on Instagram. When we post the thumbnail, yeah. it's going to be, oh, the fucking boost God hoodie on with the, with yeah. the Jordan ones. Hey, all I got to say is, hey, knock, knock. 
Who's there? Not Boo Scott. Boo Scott's dead, fool. Right, exactly. That's all I know. Exactly. So <laughs> what are yeah, we talking about Bo- here? Boo Scott's not even fucking I mean, the Boo Scott's dead. Yeah. He's got his he's got a totally separate operation going. Yeah. It's not Boo's. But the, the the shit is still fire. I still like the like the hoodie. I'm still I'm still a fan. Oh yeah. So but great I'm also great material, great color, great weight. Just yeah. great hoodie. But I also just I don't know, I don't put dumb limitations on myself like oh, people shit. on Instagram. Like I, you can only wear uh, Nike with Nike or huh. Jordan Jordan or Adidas. Like, I Fuck, just, dog. I got a Nike hoodie on right now with some fucking Ultra Boost ATRs. Right, right. Why? Someone, someone said that a couple weeks ago on the thing, like in the shit. comments. Yeah. I, I was doing that last week and you tried to roast me. Yeah, J- oh, J- well, JJ what JJ had, the fuck? JJ, JJ had. Take that L on the way out. JJ had three brands on. This motherfucker so, was promoting so. the world, okay? Today. So three so three's bad, didn't I think three, three's a little bad. If not for me. Three's a little confusing, I'd say. Maybe you're confused. I don't know. That seems like a what? I have a lot of brands on right now. I'm not gonna lie. I got a, I got a fucking Boost God shit on. I got the Jordan ones on. I got the Gucci belt on. I got the primitive skate fucking hat. I got yeah. the Ray Bans on. I got the off white drip. I'm not matching anything. I, but I don't also put dumb limitations on myself. Yeah. I just fucking do what I want. Exactly. Whoever does, you know, you, yeah, teach their own. You guys do what you do. If you play yeah. little games with yourself like that, cool. Okay, how much stuff can we match today? Great. I don't it's, fucking do that. I, I just throw this shit on. If it looks like a cool fit, I'm more about look than I am about brand. Sure. If I'm fucking wearing, uh, a pair of Jordan socks that match the Adidas shoes I got on perfectly. I don't give a fuck. If the yeah. fit looks cool, you know, let, I don't know. It's it, dude, you see what some of these fuck dumb fucking kids are wearing these days? Oh, dude. You're you're getting on me about Matt brand matching? Get out of here. Suited and booted. I don't know. I just want to give JJ a hard time. That's all. all right. I just want to keep him in these streets. I like it. You know. That's, that's good. All. That's fair by you. That's yeah, that's good that's that all. you're admitting you're just trying to give him a hard time. That's all. Anybody yeah. else I don't really give a shit, man. I'm just trying to be functional, man. That's my big thing. Right. Fuck it. If I got Ultra Boost ATRs, it's the only shoe that is still somewhat cool in my opinion yeah that is functional in this shit out here so, right you know oh before we go any further you see us drinking if you're on youtube you see us drinking out of these most underrated fucking starbucks cups these are hard plastic cups uh the homie rich sent these in i have no idea um who rich is i tried to i was trying to like tag him on instagram trying to be courteous yeah he just wrote a simple note that said thanks for what you guys do love the cast keep it up and uh he sent us these cups, man. Super sick, super cool. Um, Wait, is he is he from uh, what's that band? LFO. Yeah, yeah. I like girls who wear Abercrombie did, and Fitch. Damn it! Why didn't you have the? Why didn't you tell me to have that drop ready? Damn. I didn't know you were gonna bust out. Thanks, my name is Rich. I know you saved that one. You fuck. You should have oh. told me with the drop. I could have busted it out. I know, man. I like girls that wear Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah, man. Who doesn't know that Had shit? One wish. Nineties kid. That fool actually. To be. Uh, to be real, I think that fool died of cancer not too long ago. And then I think the other dude, in the, like one of the other dudes in the group, two has out died of the too three or, have passed. That's actually, yeah, nuts, I did bro. see that. A, young I guys know, too, yeah, a while ago. I think they were our age. That's well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, probably. dude. Young guys <laughs> sure. too. Uh, they were probably late 30s, early 40s. I'd probably say. closer to my age. Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, dude. So what did you? Uh, let's jump into kind of before. Or sorry, I just want to give a shout out to Rich on yeah, the. Thank uh, you, Rich. On the cups with these, man. These are super dope. The love. Most underrated. I might just make this our fucking logo now. We've, we've been struggling with a logo. Yeah. I might just make this the, the most underrated. <laughs> the, oh just Jack gosh. Starbucks shit. A little Starbucks swag. What, what, JJ? No. What's What's the issue? You guys could do so much better than that. We're not. I don't do any better. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. I, and that's my problem is I can't even give a designer a direction because yeah. I don't even know what direction. I just want to, I just want I some sh- options in front of me, and I'll say no, no, yeah. no. Yep, I really yeah, love I that. Scruff that's was cool. No, no. Though. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. But we're going back and forth. I feel bad because I can't give him any direction. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not like we I just know, we just know what sucks. Right. But I can't, I can't be like, <laughs> oh well, uh, you know what, you should do this. Not even necessarily this, sucks. No. Just what I don't like. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean. But I also know what I do like. But I just got to see it. I got to see the options. I'm not a designer. No. I'm not a same. We've talked about that, dude. I can't yeah, fucking draw. Sure. I'm not an artist. I'm, I'm just not. I'm not a designer at all. Um, did you watch the Rumble? Watch the Rumble this weekend. I did not. I watched the Pro Bowl instead and fucking ate my dick Shut watching up. it. Yeah. Well, no, the Pro Bowl was. What time did that thing start? Uh, yesterday, I think it started at uh, three Eastern, one o'clock our time. I thought it was later, so I actually planned on maybe catching a couple snaps. Yeah. By the time I even knew what was going on, the shit was over. The only snap that you probably would have caught was uh, fucking Jason Witten breaking the actual trophy. <laughs> How about that snap? <laughs> How about no? <laughs> oh my bad, wrong one. <laughs> how about, <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. How, how about that snap? Huh? That's fucking funny right there. Fucker, that wow. shit was hilarious. But anyway, I, I did see that on Twitter. Yeah, so we'll get into the Royal that guy Rumble. Had a bad year. Huh? Yeah, you know what he did, man. His first year of broadcasting, there was. You what know, did you think of him this year? 
Honest opinion. Uh, Did you like his fucking style? Did you not like his style? You know how I felt about Romo. Yeah, so I don't like Witten's style very well. He just he just trips over some words, and I get it. It's his first year. But I just don't like the whole ESPN production at all. Right. I don't like Boog on the Boog Mobi- Booger Mobile. <laughs> I, know they got him, I know they got him out of there at the end of the season. They got him in the booth for a little bit. But uh, that, that whole fucking ESPN production, it's just, it, it, there's no comparison to the Sunday Night Football. And I know it's, it's hard, but you're going to compare the two. Yeah. You, you are. Because ESPN has enough money to get the fucking best. Right. But unfortunately, NBC has the best already. So yep. um, I think that's my big issues there. But uh, uh, what, about, what, what about you? I think you're um, the same, right? Yeah, I didn't. I, I wasn't really a fan of his. I think he can get better, but he will. you know, he wasn't yelling like Romo. It was just I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> right. the it was the wasn't the continuity and the fluidity that I would like over a broadcast. I yeah. should probably I should when I watch a broadcast, I should feel like you just blend in with the game. Sure, like you're just part of the game. You're part of what kind of goes there. That's how I feel about Collinsworth and Michaels. They just blend in with the game. Mm-hmm. They do a good job. If I notice you on, on the broadcast, it's probably not good for you. Yeah. I don't really want to notice or, you know what I mean? I'm never. Um, I want someone to stand out in a good way, though. Yeah, I don't, honestly, anyway. Like, I, I never am like, oh, man, he did an incredible job on the broadcast last night. I don't feel like calling the broadcast is that hard of a, hard of a thing. I, I think um, if, you're, if you're doing a good job, you're blending in. You're fucking just you're Jim Nance. You're just unnoticeable. You just kind of blend in with I the broadcast. The whole point of like life was to stand out for you, young fucks. <laughs> yeah, not for these old journalists that are just trying to do their job and be a part of the game. Like I'm saying, okay, everyone else, you know, yeah, the the young guys. Maybe that's maybe that's Romo too. Maybe he's you know he's carving out a niche. And I know some people love Romo. I get it. This is all my opinion. I we can agree to disagree. You know what I mean? I'm not a fan of that style. I'm not a fan of uh, Witten's style. I, well, actually, it's not even Witten's style. I just thought he was he wasn't fluid this year. He was just stumbled a lot. Um, not to mention, I don't know I don't know what uh, what he's doing with the hair there, but it's not it's looking weird. Yeah, it's not looking. I think he's kind of going bald, so he's trying to. I think he's combing it over, doing some weird. Just shit. Just shave the head, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, just I don't have a lot to say. I'm growing my hair out, and it's it's going through fucking multiple in between weird stages. Stage, I, huh? You know, is that I what he's doing too? In between, I think so. But no, remember how bald he was going when he when he retired? Yeah. Now all of a sudden he doesn't look bald anymore. He looks like I don't know. There's something going on there. I, I don't really know a, what it is. I think he's got a toupe. I, I have no idea. Toupe. I have no idea. I, it's just it just doesn't look good. Yeah, I saw I saw the clip yesterday. That's the first thing I noticed when he was doing the trophy thing. I was like, God damn, his hair looks fucking super dark. <laughs> like it yeah. just it looked unnatural, dog. Yeah. That's that's all. That's all. It just looked I don't know what it was. Hmm. But anyway, um So the, yeah, let's, yeah, let's 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 go over some of the Pro Bowl. Okay, so you go didn't ahead. watch it, right? No, I didn't watch it. You watched the Rumble instead. Rumble was later on at night. Yeah. So I saw you tweeting. Yeah, the Rumble was late. Yeah, for sure. Fun. You're going to have to put me on because I don't know what happened at all. Yeah. But anyways, the Pro Bowl. So uh the question is, did you miss anything? I don't think so. I didn't, dude, I didn't even catch highlights last night. I fell asleep <laughs> so early. You, you didn't miss anything. So There weren't any highlights, were there? No, not really. So the, the biggest highlights, uh, Patrick Mahomes was mic'd up, dropping some F-bombs. Great highlight. Saw that on Twitter, yeah. Uh, number two, Jason Witten in the trophy thing, obviously breaking the trophy as he's uh, handing it uh, to the to the dudes. Uh, but Jason, or excuse me, Jalen Ramsey uh, scored a TD. Uh, fucking Andrew Luck looked like shit out there. You know, just couldn't get any drives together. Um Weren't they? I heard. I heard it was not like a lot of. It was like lightly, gently setting down too. It wasn't really tackling, dude. It was there, and I think that was one of the biggest problems. You even had. Well, it was the, raining too. Yeah, right. Dude, it was. It was I, super on the clip wet. I saw it was yeah. raining. I super, saw Chris Harris Jr. got a pick. Super moist. Yeah, as they might say uh, out there. Yeah. Ugh, pause. Ugh. Uh, but uh, you know, even the likes of Deion Sanders actually came out on socials and said, "What the fuck are we doing here?" Yeah. You know, we're you know we're not pushing the envelope here. We're not putting any in energy into this. There's there's no competition, absolutely none. So the refs were blowing the whistle as somebody got touched, dog. It was a heavy, heavy game of fucking touch flag football mm. without the flags. It was aggressive hugging. It, dude, it, it wasn't even like, that. It was really? it was just lightly touching, and the refs are blowing the whistles. Huh? And that was that looked like that was what was agreed upon. Whether it was the how much longer team. does this go? We've been talking about eliminating the Pro Bowl for at least five years now, dude. We, probably uh, probably since 2010, we've been having yeah. this Pro Bowl conversation sure. seriously. Maybe 2008. Um, maybe or where do you think it goes from? 
where we are now. Yeah. Do we continue? Do they? I, for one, if they are going to continue, they've got to move back to Hawaii. Sure. Orlando's a fucking pile. Yeah. Let's be real. Who the fuck wants to? Dude. Yeah. What? I think, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people are wanting that Hawaii because it's obviously a, just a beautiful, vast, crazy place, right? Yeah. That we just don't ever go to a, in the NFL. So I think that's number one. So that creates a little bit I have a different element and a, a cool place for these fucking players to go. Here's what I would say, though. Uh, the argument that I would have, how long does this go and whatnot, the amount of money. Let's talk money. Uh, about these, what 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 kind of money are these guys making, and what type of money is thrown out on the table by the NFL to entreat or entice these players? Mm. Are, are you familiar with any of this? No. Okay. I don't know anything let's, about the money. Let's look at something here. So, here's number one. So the winning team from the Pro Bowl. So the winners, right? In this case, the AFC yesterday. Yep. Uh, what was it? Twenty twenty six to seven. I didn't I believe, see. I believe that was the final score. So twenty six to seven. AFC. All the AFC players get paid sixty four k. Okay. Okay. Now, that being said, every player from the losing team, in this case NFC, gets 32 racks. Hmm. Okay. So about half, you know, roughly, uh, or exactly half. So let's compare this now. Let's take this a step a step further here. Now, how much do you know about like wild card, divisional round, conference championship, Super Bowl winner, loser? bonuses and shit? Yeah. I don't know. I don't hey. know figures. So let's talk about that. So remember, sixty four thousand for the winning for the winning team, thirty two for the losing. Well, let's look at this. So for the wild card divisional winners, their bonuses twenty eight thousand. For the straight wild card, it's twenty six thousand. For a divisional round win, twenty eight thousand. Conference championship, fifty one thousand. Huh. Super Bowl loser, fifty six thousand. Super Bowl winner, a hundred and two thousand. Now, you're gonna you're gonna tell me that. Any player that gets chosen to play in the Pro Bowl gets selected and, and wins gets 64000 That is more money than making it to the Super Bowl and being the losing team and getting your $56,000 bonus. So what I'm getting to that is fucking sucks. they're enticing the players, obviously, right. by 64000 versus 32000 for the loser. And if we look at just playing regular season and then into the championship drive to get to the Super Bowl, the money just doesn't really align. Well, what doesn't align to me? How much do they make to go to the Super Bowl? Uh, so the Super Bowl uh, loser makes fifty six. The Super Bowl winner one hundred and two. Hundred. What's going on here, Sean Payton? Yeah. Last time I saw, he was rolling a card in with two hundred fifty thousand on it with a Lombardi and saying to his team, "Do you want this? This is what you have to do: get this win, and you go here." I thought that was the bonus. No. What happened to that? Where's two hundred fifty thousand? We're talking about you're talking about 102. Are your numbers wrong, or is Sean Payton doesn't know well, what he's talking, this, fucking talking about? Well, these are just the bonuses, so I don't know if Even, Sean Payton's was including salary, whatnot. He but couldn't have. People are making making way more than 250 thousand no. on salary. That's yeah. You look at Gronk, right? Gronk makes way more than that, but he is only you know for the wild card winner, right? For the wild or for the the conference championship, right? Fifty one thousand. You know damn well he's making a shitload more than that. And he didn't. He obviously didn't get to go to the Pro Bowl, which he wouldn't have been selected anyways because he sucked ass this year. Right. Um, I just don't think the money aligns. But no, this, I, I'm with you there. I, I'm confused. But yeah, Sean what, what, what's Sean Payton doing there? Because I don't know. Yeah, these I'm are confused. the figures, and these are most updated. This is all from uh, the uh, the NFL Network and CBS. Well, all Sean Payton must be getting his info from the Onion because I don't know what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> For sure, his shit's off. Anyway, uh, I I would agree. I don't yeah. think the money obviously align, lines up there, but you're also paying. Uh, less players going to the pro bowl. So you're right. paying more money. You're paying less players though. Uh, you're paying two teams in every, or you're paying, uh, I'm sorry, two teams in the, or four teams in the uh, championship round mm -hmm. are all getting paid. Yep. Eight teams the week before, you know what I mean? So it's going to add up. It's gonna be a lot more, um, a lot more money. I, it's not that the NFL doesn't have the money, sure, but I don't know. I, the pro bowl itself, will money make them play harder? I don't think so. No, I think obviously they're getting away with just not playing at all. Once you're out, something in there, there's like a switch. It feels like there's a switch in these players' mind. Once you're out and you're eliminated, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah, hard football is done until they're already training. In, camp. They're already in Mexico, right? You know what I mean? Like Let's it's just hard to. How do you get someone that's either been out since the regular season or they got knocked out in the postseason? How do you get them to this game yeah. the week before the Super Bowl and want them to play? Sure. All of a sudden, you know what I mean? Like they're. People are, and now we got 90, 
1,900 players going to the damn Pro Bowl because there's so many substitutes and alternates and people that don't want to yeah, play. And totally. it just it ends up being ridiculous. The, yeah. the thing that I did watch that I thought was dope was the skills competition. Did you see any of that shit? I didn't watch any of that. Russell Wilson was lighting up the fucking quarterback was challenge, he? bro. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Trubisky looked like dog shit. <laughs> fucking um, who else was in there? Foles looked like trash. Yeah. Dude. Uh, Russell Wilson was lighting it up. You know who, who else would look like trash? Who? Worst quarterback I've ever seen in my life. Dak Prescott. Now, I know he's not a quarterback. Oh. Von Miller. Fucking worst quarterback I've ever seen because there was a setup where you had to, you had your quarterback have to do the quarterback challenge and you had to uh -huh. pick someone on your team. There was like teams of like five or something. I, I kind of tuned in a little late. But each, you had sides of, of teams and the court, the captain had to choose someone to throw, to do a challenge that wasn't a quarterback. So you had to have like a non-running back do some running back shit, a non-quarterback do some quarterback shit on top of your quarterback, your running backs, your whatever. Von Miller got out there, terrible. Couldn't hit a fucking target to save his life. Couldn't hit a boat falling out of water. Guy was awful. Worst, some of the worst throwing. Hmm. He maybe he didn't have his maybe he didn't have the correct prescription in his glasses. I don't know what was going on. It wasn't good though. That's all I got. That's as far as I went for the Pro Bowl, <laughs> I didn't gotcha. watch anything else. I did watch the Rumble though. Um, yeah, how was that? What? I thought it was a good show. It's long. It was long. Yeah. You know, you know, your WrestleManias, your SummerSlams, your Royal Rumbles, they're always going to be longer because what? they're the big premier fucking shows. Four hours? Five. 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 Right. I don't know. Old school. Dude, reminded me of like some early 90s. Like, Really? Yeah, dude. When the fucking Ultimate Warrior started over here in the corner of the arena and then he ran all the way down this way and then the fucking aisle turned and then he ran this way and then the aisle turned again and then he ran to the ring. Like just, you know, crazy shit. Yeah. It was kind of like that because it was at Chase Field in Arizona. So it was at a fucking baseball stadium. Pretty oh, okay. sick, dude. They That's came cool. up out of the dugout was the entrance, and they fucking came down this long stretch and then turned to the ring. It was pretty sick. It reminded me of the old school setup that they had. So I really liked that. Huh. Um, overall, it was a little bit long, but dude, at the Royal Rumble now, they have two Royal Rumble matches, and those are going to be at least an hour each because you have the women's 30-person Royal Rumble, and then you have sure. the men's 30-man 30, 30 Rumble. So they didn't used to have that back in the day. It's going to, you know add a little bit to it take some time less you know less matches uh normal matches throughout okay. but overall i thought the show was pretty good uh i thought there were some people that should have had matches on the card that didn't but yeah, they were heard, in the rumble i heard uh cena was out uh, cena was out i don't know if it was legit injury or not gotcha. they just said it was injury okay from like a couple weeks ago or whatever i don't know how legit it was i didn't look into it I'm not a Cena hater. I know a lot of people within the wrestling community hate John Cena. Yeah. A lot of, you know, obviously little kids and fans, they fucking love John Cena. Sure. But a lot of the other older people, they just consider him like the the Hulk Hogan of today's era. You know what I mean? Hulk Hogan wasn't the greatest wrestler. He wasn't really a great wrestler at all. He was just good at what he did. Mm -hmm. It worked for him. It was slow. It was plotting. It was a lot of fucking chest to chest and all right, strength, test of strength kind of shit. And mm -hmm. like, Really slow. Like if you go back and watch a Hulk Hogan match today from like, you know, WrestleMania five and below or whatever. I mean, even WCW, they're just slow plotting matches. They're hard to watch hmm. once you've been watching today's product because today's product is so fast. There's it's so physical. much. Yeah. yeah, it's so much stronger. The strong style, um, it's way stiffer than hmm. it used to be, which kind of makes me feel like, damn, I don't see the old dudes really walking around that well. A lot of them are dead. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at today's athletes. I'm like, these guys are doing... 10 times crazier fucking shit than those guys were doing. How, what shape are, are they going to be in? Cause it's yeah. not like they're spending any less days on the road and they're doing way crazier shit, dude, taking way crazier bumps. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see the life of a pro wrestler and how that changes. Now there's not as much like hard road time as like bars and drugs and fucking alcohol. And sure. there's not as much of that. It's more of a PG family, uh, almost like the NFL type. It's kind of like the NFL, how, you know, uh, big difference between the snake Kenny Stabler and fucking Jake the Snake Plumber. You know what I mean? Like two snakes, different motherfuckers. Totally different. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Like, right. Just different guys, dude. Two totally different things. So I think the life of a pro wrestler is kind of going to be the same way. Like that back in the day was just they were running the streets. They were fucking wild. It was just on the road with the boys 300 days a year. Today, there's more conditioning. There's more, we know a lot more about health and wellness and things like that. More stretching, more yoga, more CrossFit. A lot of fucking, uh, a lot of the wrestlers are big into CrossFit, especially the top guys. Yeah. Seth Rollins is a huge CrossFit guy. But do you so think do you think steroids are still as not big as, as no, they were? no 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 WWE uh, excuse me WWE is drug testing like yeah, are crazy they? too gotcha uh, funny story I know this won't really matter I mean you don't know the characters but there's this guy Lars Sullivan who's in NXT 
it was like a below um, the WWE. It's like it's still on WWE Network, and it's like an, their indie product. It's their version of okay. like the independent wrestling, and it's brilliant by them. Thank God Vince McMahon has Triple H because this is one of the most brilliant fucking business moves they've made as a company. They saw that wrestling was going to the indies, and they saw that it was really going independent, and a lot of fucking up and comers they were having to go steal from the indies and try to get to them before they went to another indie or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, but they weren't quite ready yet. So they try to steal them early and then get them groomed for WWE. But then that would be like a two, three year fucking process, dude. So now you're, you have these guys just sitting around, you're paying them, but they're just doing dark matches and they're just trying to get their opportunities when they can. But you don't have any, there's no fast track for them. There's no minor league system. So Triple H puts this shit called NXT into place, dude. And it's like the ultimate fucking indies. It's like where all these independent wrestlers go. Once they get signed, they go right into NXT. If they're not a, if they, if they're not a guy like Samoa Joe, who's just been around the indies forever, everyone fucking knows this guy. Uh, he's big time. He's just ready to make the jump right into WWE. And honestly, he still was in NXT for a good amount of time, but he probably didn't need to be. Hmm. Um, anyway, they go to NXT now. It's a developmental. Well, WWE yeah. is able to make money off that. They air an NXT fucking show every Wednesday, just like they do on Monday Night Raw, but it's aired on the WWE Network. They have NXT TakeOver pay-per-views the Saturday night before the big pay-per-views, like the Rumble, SummerSlam, all that shit. So they did like an NXT TakeOver Phoenix, which was Saturday night. Hmm. Honestly, that fucking show blew the Rumble out of the water, in my opinion. The matches on that card were just super sick. Interesting. So that kind of shit there, that's that's the brilliance of, of Triple H and and uh, NXT because these guys go there. Now that you know what NXT is, there's a guy named Lars Sullivan in NXT. He's going to start getting a big push. And the storyline was, and my homie Edgar was telling me this yesterday, which is crazy. He was reading an article about it, but the storyline is supposed to be, he's supposed to come through, fuck up Cena a couple weeks ago, and then Cena was going to miss the Rumble like he did. So that didn't happen because at TV that day, they were drug testing. He saw his name on the drug testing list and said he had, he fucking had like some kind of a panic attack and left the arena. So that was initially what was reported. Lars Sullivan had a panic attack, fucking had to go to the hospital, left the arena. So he didn't get involved in that storyline, hmm. whatever that case may be. Uh, we later find out he found out his name was on the drug testing list and he knew he was going to be hot uh. and he fucking dipped out of the arena. So I don't know. He wasn't on the NXT pay-per-view on Saturday night, which I imagine he was supposed to be. He wasn't... Uh, um, at the Royal Rumble on Sunday. I don't know if he was going to make an appearance at the Rumble, but this is a guy that was at like the top of NXT. He was a really a guy that was ready for the next push. Usually with those guys, they'll debut him at the Royal Rumble uh, a month or two before WrestleMania just to kind of get them in the main spotlight. And then after Mania, Monday night, boom, they'll start a new kind of season. The night after WrestleMania is when the new season of fucking wrestling starts. It's when the new year starts. The Super Bowl is WrestleMania, and then everything else is building up to that Super Bowl. So that's hmm. normally when he would debut. But crazy shit. Speaking of drug testing, uh, but no, it's not like it used to be, dude. There's way more drug test stuff going on. No one's no one's getting by like they used to like that. So all that stuff. It'll be it'll be interesting to see where it goes. But overall, I thought it was a good show. Uh, thanks to everybody that reached out to me, interacting on social media. I like chopping it up, talking wrestling with you guys, fucking uh, hearing your picks for the Rumble. If you saw, I did pick Seth Rollins. Who won the Rumble? Seth freaking Rollins. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but no, he, he was he was probably he was a big time favorite. Yeah. I um he's he's the modern day Mr. WrestleMania. He puts on great WrestleMania matches, dude. Everything he's been in, even when it hasn't been in a title fight, even the one against Randy Orton a few years ago. Fucking fire, dude. Seth Rollins is just sick. Puts on a great match all the time. You know you can depend on him. Uh, they did a triple threat last year in New Orleans. It kicked off the show. So he's been on both ends. He's main evented the show. He's been on the opening of the show. But uh, Rollins is the man. He took down the Rumble last night. The Brock Lesnar... Um, Finn Balor match. It was booked as like David versus Goliath. Finn yeah. Balor's fucking tiny, dude. Brock Lesnar's a monster. I saw all the memes from it. I loved I loved that <laughs> yeah. Brock Lesnar got the victory. That's how it should have gone. Yeah. I wouldn't have believed anything else. And the way he got the victory was awesome, dude. He fucking, uh, Finn Balor was kind of fucking him up. And Brock just kind of caught Finn slipping. And he got him in this fucking arm bar, dude, and just started cranking down. Mm-hmm. And Finn Balor tapped out. And I loved that because in real life, there is no fucking way a guy Finn Balor's size is dragging Brock Lesnar to the ropes to break that submission. Right. I don't know if you know fucking wrestling, but in wrestling, when you're in a submission, if you grab the ropes, it breaks it. The ref breaks the submission. Oh, gotcha. So he fucking tapped out because he was in the middle of the ring and 
there was no way storyline or not. There's no way that man's dragging Brock Lesnar towards the rope. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I loved this. I loved what WWE did there. I love that they tapped him out in that situation because that's what really would have happened. It was realistic, you know? So as a, Sometimes that's where WWE tries to get too cute with the storylines. Mm -hmm. I'm never one of those guys that's like wrestling's fake and all that shit because I fucking know it's not. I know those bumps are real as fuck. Mm -hmm. I know that shit hurts, but I know that the storyline is also contrived and I know that yeah. certain things, sometimes storylines don't even go to plan, uh, go according to plan. I mean, it's live. It's a live event. It's live TV. Um, they just do, they do a great job. Mm -hmm. They do a great fucking job. I thought the pay-per-view was good. Uh, I wouldn't say an A plus or anything, but I, I would say a solid B plus pay per view. Thought nice. it was good, worth watching. I liked NXT a little bit better on Saturday night. That's cool. So, well, I'll add one thing to that was uh, I actually saw a uh, photo of your boy Kai Somar. He, I, he was actually in attendance. He's at every fucking show. Yeah, he's so, sponsored by CK. He sits ringside he at every sit fucking wherever he wants, whenever he wants. Yeah. Saw him with the fucking chair, the fold out chair. Yeah. You know the whole thing. I don't even know where that guy's storing those fucking chairs because he's <laughs> going to so many events. He's at every. Yeah. He's not every like Monday Night Raw, but he's at every like big time pay per view. Right. He's just got that thing with sneak, uh, seat geek. Seat geek. And it's funny because there's there's people there's been legendary people like that throughout the history of WWE. Um, if you go through some of the the pay per views in the '90s and even 2000s, like there's different people like this motherfucker. You go, you look at every pay per view, you see that motherfucker TV side, yeah. ringside, every show. One time he's dressed up as Macho Man. One time he's fucking Kogan. One time he's Flair. The guy's just there every show. And there's people like that. And Kais is star kind of starting to become that guy. Yeah. Cause it's weird though. He's never in the good enough seats to where it's like right fucking hard camera TV side. He's always kind of near the aisle or in like the corner mm -hmm. of the, of the um, ringside. He's still ringside and cameras still catch him here and there. Right. But he's not fucking hard camera side. Does that make sense? Yep. Like the fixed, the fixed joint. So yeah. But anyways, yeah, he was, he was up in that bitch. Um, I did see him a couple times too. Did you? Yeah. I wasn't fucking screenshotting or anything, but you know, uh, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's kind of the rumble. Um, that's really all I did this weekend. Anything more on the weekend? No, nah, yeah. man. Aside from that, Saturday night, uh, I kind of, I kind of shit ate my own balls, dude. I got super sick, like, uh, um, just you know, stomach issues on Saturday night, which I don't typically have. I know you had some stomach issues in the past. You got worked out, but you know, I was kind of having those on 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 Saturday evening, and uh, went home. And the lady was uh, at yoga, you know, doing her thing. So I was kind of all there. So fed the dog, fell asleep for like two hours and then she got home and she was making all fucking clanging and banging noise as she's yeah, fucking yeah. cooking us dinner and then i'm like i'm getting all fucking pissed not that she's cooking dinner but i'm like oh i just felt God. like dude <laughs> this I, is already hey, going bad dude, like. i just i just well it gets better it gets better but uh, uh but i was feeling like shit dog and i was like man fuck it i had this little blanket dude like i was like i went back into like when i was like in third grade fucking carried my little blankie behind <laughs> me dog went upstairs into the guest bedroom and fucking passed out for another four hours wow. dude she came Mad up there sick. yeah dude she came up there and she's like you gave me a look like go to hell dallas and i'm like i'm so sorry i just i I'm, i just don't feel good and she's Damn. like she's like you must not because like i just disappeared for another four or five up in your hours. sneaker room no just in the guest bedroom <laughs> oh i thought like yeah. when he said guest bedroom I, I forgot you guys have like a your bedroom you sleep in you have a guest bedroom and then he also yeah. has a sneaker room upstairs that's like a little office oh, room yeah seriously? that's yeah. called my man cave that, okay so that's okay. where i thought that's you were sleeping cave. i was like damn did she come in and fucking check your temperature with the supreme no. thermometer and shit or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah she stuck the supreme throw <laughs> thermometer right up my butthole you know so uh, she came in Ugh. and she was just like, Dallas, are you, are you all right? Like, you know, I've never seen you do this. And I'm like, dude, I, I feel, I feel awful, awful. Yeah, and it yeah. was a lot of nausea, a nausea or whatever. Yeah. Um, I just, I just didn't, didn't feel well. So, and she's like, oh man, I thought you were mad at me. I'm like, no, nah, I was mad at the world. Just fucking let me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. let me sleep, you know? And good. she's like, that was cute. You carrying the blanket upstairs, however, <laughs> just like a little fucking kid, dude, dragging my blanket around. But I had that. So that was a little weird, but, uh, not even a 24 hour thing. Just needed some sleep, I guess, man. But, weird. uh, outside of that tonight, wait, why are you off today? You're, you text me. I thought, like, yeah. oh, fuck, Dallas is going to be mad late to work. Like, we're going to start the cast. Like, got obviously, I have to, to work, too, but yeah. my job's a little bit more lenient because sure. I'm already here. You're and here. when it comes to the cast, like... You're clocked in. Yeah, we wrap the cast You're up by go. fucking... Yeah, exactly. Not me. I got to go home. I got to shower. I got to go close. So, what's the deal? Why were you able to get... Are you still off Thursday, then, too? I sure am. You... You trying to hang out? You bastard. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, why are you uh, So I took a PTO day uh, because um, I've got PTO and, you know, in the corporate world, unlike your yeah, uh, yeah. world here, uh, not that it's a bad world, but, uh, you know, corporate world gives me a lot of PTO. No, that's fine. I'll just tell the owners you're talking shit. I'll yeah, no good. doubt. Just tell them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, so I took a PTO day because I can't close. Uh, we have a little function tonight. It is uh, Robin's sister's birthday. 
Oh, nice. Sid, she's turning, I don't know what, what age it is. It doesn't matter. Like 25. Can't get the jacuzzi or 26. <laughs> <laughs> or the pool, I mean. Yeah, probably. I don't nice. know. I don't know what we're doing uh, with that. But uh, we're going to a restaurant called The D Bar. It stands for dessert bar. Okay. But, dude, it is in Uptown, uh, downtown. And it is one of the best restaurants, dude, that I have ever been to. Oh, you've been there before? Yeah, dude. It's it's kind of a staple. Better than the Humboldt restaurant you went to before? Yeah. Yeah, it is. What is the difference? Uh, Well, the D bar, the dessert bar. So that's kind of what they're known for. Their desserts are to die for. I mean, chocolate dipped, whatever. You can have some of the best desserts. But check out some of these things. As I get a little older in my life, I never thought that I would celebrate some of these meals. But you know, you know what my, some of my favorite things are at this place? Crispy Brussels sprouts. Sounds disgusting. Dude. What? How is that good? As I'm getting older, to begin with, dude, I, my my palate's changing. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying certain things, dude, that I never ever would have given a chance, man. I see you two casts in a row with the fucking bull fire. Yeah, back and on the it. fucking dessert. <laughs> back on Bad. it. Bad. You Don't. guys will never guess, dude. I had a bull and it tastes like cough syrup, man. I'm out of here. Now I'm he's never fucking, doing this again. Now he's back. Bro, now, now he's, he's back. back. We are back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, True that. Uh, but hey, yeah. So I'm 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 celebrating some of these great things. You know what else is really good there? What? The kale and quinoa. Salad. Okay. Was that weird? Sounds gross. Yeah. I like no, that. Actually, no, actually, no, I don't even, it doesn't sound, it just, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say it sounds gross. It just sounds, uh, what, like, whatever. All right. Like, I'd eat it if it was put in front of me, but it's like, uh, sounds it's kind of just, yeah. it's like you're drinking water. Makes sense to me, but mm-hmm. check it out. Then we get a little dirty. They got some of the best chicken and waffles I've ever had. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. I'm, I'm in the with The chicken that. and waffles are so good. Fuck dude, yeah. they've got they've got these crew fries, which are which are like almost like truffle fries, right? So they've got like the Parmesan flakes yeah, yeah. on it and, you know, dude, just super, super dirty. Uh, dude, it's a real, real great place, Jesus, man. Jesus, Dallas, how many times have you been there? <laughs> Naming uh, off all these dishes? Dude, this will be the fourth time. Oh, shit. Yeah, this will be the fourth time Expensive? Sure. Is this busting out your wallet it's, a little bit? It's pricey. Yeah, it's the same thing. You ain't just spending yeah, some walk pricey. around money. Yeah, I'm hoping the parents take care of it tonight. Oh, you're going with the parents? Oh, well, yeah, for it's her birthday. Sydney, Kev, parents, Rob and I. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're good then. You didn't have to bust out the wallet tonight. No, we'll bust out the wallet. No, nah, you'll fucking hit the bathroom when the check comes. No. Yeah, you <laughs> will. That's your style. You're good. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no, dude, Rob, Robin's, you know, Robin's parents, boy, they're 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 money, money savvy, and uh, uh, we, we usually have to go Dutch with them. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. It, is, it is weird. My parents are not money savvy at all. They just be picking up the tab every time I go. That's tight. I'm like, Dad, you need some. Oh, you got it. I'm like, Dad, you ain't got no fucking money. You know, I, I like to, I like to help that, out, and I'm always that guy who's going to offer. So you know, it's uh, you know, we do a Dutch thing usually, and we're all pretty good, or we split yeah. it. We split it just down the middle, you know. So we usually take care of each other. But uh, I was always used to my parents kind of fitting the bill, that kind of stuff. And and now that I look at it. It's weird because I make more money than my parents, not combined. Yeah. But, um, you know, now that that's happening, I, I have kind of a different understanding and I, I feel like there there are some responsibilities. So you had to I take have. PTO? You had to take a whole day off of work to I go did, to this? I did, to that's be able to go to this. Wow. Yeah. So. Serious. Hey, Robin better know how serious that is. That is true. Fuck, I'm doing it for the family. Yeah, right. I do everything else like for you the wanna, cast. Like you want to be there. Give I do everything else for the cast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's true. Just wait till you see these pair of shoes I bought. For oh, the cast. You want to jump in? Uh, are we? Uh, I think start this. Yeah, let's train jump wreck. into sneakers. You want to do Actually, sneakers? Before we jump into sneakers, hey, why didn't you, why didn't you say fuck your sneakers, man? Before we get in there, <laughs> where's, like your, where's your quote? I was trying to be nice this week. Fuck your sneakers, man. Trying to be nice. What do you got? Uh, or trying to be nicer? I'm getting, I'm getting some flack. He, I've been saying. I've been getting told I talk too spicy to people sometimes. Mm. Um, anyways, before speaking of spicy, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> you can't give me. So, you guys, if you heard the last cast. The oh. Supreme Ashtray should be fucking sitting here in front I of know. me. Instead, Dallas can't sell me the Supreme Ashtray. Yeah. Dude, it's the one piece Ochi really wanted. Yeah. Did he want his fucking glasses? Because it's the one piece I really wanted. Yeah. <laughs> but I gave it back. Yeah. So give me back my Supreme Ashtray that wasn't mine. You better fucking tell him. Fuck. Hit that fool Why up. Why did he want that? To be honest. Because he's just a big collector like me. But the problem is he's not going to use it. Whereas oh, you man. would. That's, that's, that's what makes it shit. But you know me. You I don't know collect anything. I use it. everything. Yeah. Nothing just sits there with me. I'm just not a collecting kind of guy. I can't, I don't leave shit in packages. I don't fucking, I popped open the Supreme Ludens last night just because I hated sitting them, seeing them there in the plastic. Good man. Yeah. I've, I've eaten all mine. Yeah, I just can't do it. <laughs> mine are gone. I, I, the shit's, I don't know. Yeah, I don't totally. Know. Yeah, I wish I could get it. To, maybe I can get it back for, uh, you're not getting it maybe back. Maybe I get it back. Oh, some Indian give or take or back or yeah. shit? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll Venmo him $5 on top of what he paid me. That's not good. What, uh, <laughs> 
I'm, I'm going to start looking up different ones. There's obviously a bunch of Supreme oh, ashtrays. There's, so. there's a lot of them. I'm just going to yeah. go look and find one I really want. Fuck yours. Fuck yours. Uh, <laughs> Take that L on the way out. All right, now, now we can get into sneakers. I think sneakers. you took the L on the way out. That's what I'm saying. It's for okay, me. fair enough. It's for me. I'm fucking, I'm taking the L. I should have told you before. Like when you first had it, I should have yeah. just told you I wanted it. But I wasn't really smoking weed that heavy at that time. Right. I was kind of smoking. And you know me. I'm just going to fucking let it sit collecting, so I finally fucking sold it. Right. You know? Right. So. Exactly. So yeah, I think, um, all right, fuck it. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. I'm, I'm annoyed, but I'm fine. We'll get you a new one. I'm annoyed. Go ahead. I'll get you an extra bouncy ball. What do you got on sneaker? What do you got sneakers. on sneakers? All right, let me go grab them. The uh, Dallas is busting out some sneakers in his bag, and these sneakers, he he literally shoved them in the corner. This is how bad he did not want me to see. He's like, I can't even pull out the box, man. You don't know what these are. Fuck it, I can't do it. So I was like, okay, fine. Just leave them. Oh, here we go. What Bust them the out f- the box. Oh, the SB. Oh, Whoa. fuck. Wow. I did- I think I J- know what they are. JJ, wow. Look, JJ's pumped. Should I let him? Excited. Him, maybe I should just donate to JJ. Why wouldn't you just have JJ open the box? Fuck. Let me do it. Yeah. Wow. Hand that box to JJ. All right. Let that fuck. I don't even know what these maybe. are. I, so I let me take know. a look real quick, JJ. Don't get, just please don't get overzealous. I'm going to take a look. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see if you know what they are, JJ. Interesting, huh? I might have overreacted a bit too soon. Oh, really? Don't look. What do you, what do you think they are? Yeah, what do you think they are? The fucking lobsters to some degree. Mm-hmm. The lobsters to some degree. To some Which degree would you boil lobsters at? <laughs> is is that a shoe? I've never heard of the lobster at some degree. I haven't heard of those. Is that is that a new collab Nike Nike the Nike lobsters to some degree? To some degree? I've never heard Which that. Which degree? Name. Is that a hashtag? Is that the new Nike SB with degree deodorant collab? <laughs> All right. Hey. You're wrong. You're wrong. What, what are, are they? they? Can we tell the crowd please? Yeah. They're Tiffany this is Dunks. radio. And ironically enough, I was actually going to try to get a pair of these. Really? Not, like, I wasn't going to buy them or anything, but yeah. like just to borrow them for a day to bring these in. But that's sick, man. They From who? Who do you know that's got those? Notorious. Oh, you got some plugs? Yeah. Oh, wow. Dang. No hair plugs. Dang. So, yeah. What you're, what you're looking at, those are the uh, Nike SB uh, Diamond Dunks. They came out, it came out at the end of last year. So, they got the Tiffany colorway on them. Um, you know, and uh, obviously that Diamond collab. I really liked them because I like the leather on them, so I wanted to check them out. I Dallas, love. Didn't you trash these on the show? I didn't trash them, but I said I wouldn't pay over retail. If I could get them for retail, I would do that. Okay. So here's where I need the shade. Okay. I paid forty over retail. Oh, really? They retail for a hundred. I got them for one forty. Now it's not a bad buy because right now StockX hundred and seventy five plus. So if I wanted to sell them right now, I certainly could. But I had to buy them for the cast Dude, at that these price. Are, yeah, these are. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think I would wear these. This is not my style of shoe to wear. Sure. But these are crazy, dude. They're like, really nice. Really nice. Do me a favor, okay? Because it's the first time we're going to do it. Pull out that insole. Let me let me teach you something. Pull out that insole. It's the first time we're going to do it, huh? First time. Doing it for the cast. Doing it for the cast. All right. I haven't even seen it. Jeez. I just know of it. What? what so if you got a shoe tree in there? Yeah. Yeah. Pull, that's pull out that paper. That paper's. So when there. you when you get out the insole, take a, take a look at that insole, and I'm going to teach you something. Serious? Yeah, absolutely. Are you messing around? No. Ready to rock? Oh, dude, stop. this might take a half Is it glued hour. in? It's, if it's glued uh, in, don't pull it out. It's fucking stuck. Oh, yeah. Leave yours in, JJ. It's Have not, Just franchise glued. pull out one. It's not glued in. Okay. It's just stiff, dude. It's a really stiff yeah. insole. So take a look at that insole. Take a look at the back real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's got so, like a pod. Uh, you got it. So it's got a Zoom Air pod, dude. Mm. So that is the Zoom Air that a lot of these high-end basketball shoes are doing, like the Fear of Gods, the right. the LeBrons. So it's not the full pod, but it's 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 a smaller version of those Zoom Air pods. So they have actually made great changes to these new to these new shoes. So you know the previous models obviously didn't have these Zoom Airs and that kind of stuff. So the great news is they are evolving with the quality and the actual comfort as time goes on. So I was really pumped on that. So they actually have a Zoom AirPod uh, in them. The leather looks fucking insane, if you ask me. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I love how the uh, the Nike swoosh is all one piece. Dude, that's wild. As you look at it, look at it. It goes from one, one of the swooshes to the side. So it's all one piece. Can I pull this off? Yeah, on Velcro. Yeah. Dude, and and the cool thing is... You know how the Travis Scotts, how you could mess with your Nike Air with your with your Nike things, so you can actually move these Velcro pieces down up where it looks like you have two swooshes, and you can really bring out the Tiffany colorway. I think it's fucking fire, dude. What do you know about this Nike half pipe extended? Yeah, version. Ah, I see what you're saying you with that? the SB. Ah, I you get like it. That? Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if that's intentional or if I just fucking discovered some shit. But that's fire. Dude. I never would have thought. That's really, really ill. Hmm. Just all I've never seen anything like that. 
it's all one piece. Yeah, that's isn't that isn't that fire? That's sick, man. Like I said, I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a huge dunk guy, right. and definitely not a dunk low guy. Sure. So I haven't really seen a ton of them in person, just because they weren't really my style of shoe. Mm -hmm. Still feel the same way, but this is really cool, man. A lot of cool. Uh, These are fucking sick. A lot of cool details. Yeah. yeah. I uh, look at the look at the like uh, look at the uh, laces. Look at the aglets on them. They even say, you know, stuff like Diamond Supply on them, Co. Yeah. They're just, I mean, there's a lot of great details in these, if you don't ask me. And what is that? Is that fucking crocodile? Is that crocodile skin? It's like crocodile pattern, I would Ooh. say. It's like crocodile pattern on the toe, uh, front of the leather here, not in the toe box. These are the Ric Flair joints, if you ask me. Yep. I think they're fucking uh, dirty. Goes around the back side as well. And then you got uh, the extra laces. They come with the black laces. They come with the Tiffany laces. Tiffany blues. You got the Diamond Supply logo. With the Nike SB up on the tongue. Look at the back of the tongue, though. Inside? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, just look at the pattern. Yeah, look at the like diamond super, pattern. Uh, and it's, well, obviously, the tongue is super, super stiff yeah. or super padded, padded. I mean. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, you've got the diamond pattern on the back side of the tongue. Stitched. So many details. That's cool. Uh, like you said, on the lace tips, you've got chrome chrome lace tips, not mm -hmm. plastic, and they say diamond supply etched in there. That's mm -hmm. super sick. You've got the Tiffany with the diamond underneath. The Nike flap that kind of flips down to expose the whole swoosh to where you can un-Velcro it. Yeah. You have to pull that up to kind of be able to take the whole thing off. So underneath there, it's got Tiffany Velcro. It says diamond and black lettering. And then it's got Nike on the back and Tiffany uh, lettering on that flap that folds down. These are crazy. Yeah. If you're listening over the, the radio, I apologize because, I mean, I don't know how well this is description's doing for you. But I if you're watching on good. YouTube, man, you can see what's going on. These are, uh, these are sick. The materials are dope. Everything about them is dope. I just, uh, except like... The look of the shoe stylistically, I just wouldn't wear them. Plus, it's low. But like and you you're said, not a I mean, low if, guy. You, if I could get these, yeah, I think that's the thing that really deterred me from dunks was the price. The resale price was always yeah. so high for something that I wasn't really caring about. If I'm with you, if I could get these at retail, shit, forty dollars over retail, yeah. that's a steal, bro. Well, and like why I are said, you getting flamed for that? What do you well, mean? I would you just say, you wouldn't pay because retail? I said I wouldn't pay over retail. Forty bucks when it comes to a shoe like this, yeah. get out of here. And and who gives a shit at that point? Yeah, because like I said, I could I could load them on StockX right now and uh, at least get my money back, if not you know ten or twenty bucks and we did it for the guest well that's what i like that's good. what i said uh when i made that video about the levi's jordan fours the black pair like being able to pay 40 50 bucks over retail for a shoe like that all day man all day i know you like your shoe paper there's your shoe paper back i gotta have my shoe paper back i know you do you know me man um how many how many of my shoe trees do you still have at your fucking house probably back? a ton yeah. i used to when i was reviewing dallas's shoes he would always get these? so mad because i would never put his shoe trees back in the fucking box i'd give them back to him to be no shoe trees i was just like they were just like tossed out or something cardboard shoe trees yeah. like and you know i need my shoe trees because i fucking I, I i clean my shoes every time you clean I wear them as well. you collect them you resell yeah. this guy's fucking i'm yeah. in the game he's a different kind of in the game i mean ocd <laughs> we got oh, maybe ocd in the game we'll let you we'll let you whatever your perception of in the game is you guys can figure out if you believe dal is really in the game uh now that you've showed me those we have a couple fucking packages here on this side as well. Dude, this is a sneaker-heavy really? show today. I'm pumped. Sneaker-heavy show. So for anyone crying about no fucking reviews, and all, anyways, no, I don't even want to go into it. Yeah, shove your sneakers me. up your butt. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me grab this shit real quick, and then we'll, we'll take a look at these. Like, are you opening these? Well, I know you can't answer that because you're grabbing the snoo but, uh, shoes, but uh, I'm like, man, are we, are we, are we opening these and it, and from a package, or what are we doing here? One of them, I'm kind of excited. One of them we're opening fresh. One of them we're opening. I have not even opened them. It's okay. a complete surprise. This one that's in front of us now, I'm going to open. And it's not, um, this is not a surprise. I've looked at these already. Okay. Super fucking sick. Remember, I told you I was going to go after them right. with the Kith Mastermind Vans collab. Ah, uh, but weeks you missed ago. out. Missed out on the shoe. Went to buy the hoodie. It was 475 I put two fingers in the air. Said I'm not fucking paying that. Sure. Uh, but check these out, dude. These are the Kith Mastermind Vans. The box aside, the box is fucking sick, but it got killed. Yeah. And, and Jesse, shit. so these are the homie Jesse's. They're a size nine and a half. Did it get killed in, uh, in shipping? Yeah, dude. He's oh, like, he's bummer. like, and the outside box was in mint condition. He's like, it wasn't the outside box. It was like, this is literally how they got it. What? And they'd sent him this pair, which fucking sucks. That sucks. Dude. I know, dude. Cause I'm a big box head. You know me, man. Well, I'm especially a on a pair like this. Yeah. If it's a fucking basic ultra boost, who cares? You right. know what I mean? If it's a basic ultra boost box, I got 300 of them. I don't give a shit. Yeah. But this one right here, man, this is something that, uh, Luckily, Jesse's going to wear the pair. And yeah. He's not trying to resell them. I think it's only about 100 bucks resell anyway. 
Okay. Um, even for me, that was too much. They were 235 retail, 335 mm. in my size right now is a little bit much. For a Vans, yeah. I don't think I want to pay over three. Right. Exactly, for a Vans. Is this I, the one with the Sherpa lining? Dude, it Fuck is. yeah. Look at these motherfuckers. These shits wow. are all waterproof. Ooh. You got the Hand fucking on zipper on the back. Dude, pull out the laces. Three pairs of laces attached Ooh. to that oh bitch. Oh, my God, And dude. then you got the laces that are already in it. So you get four pairs of laces with those. You got the Sherpa fur. Dude, what do you know about this, like, super, super brown leather lace, yeah, dude? Crazy. Like, super high quality. Yeah. And then, and then uh, you know, obviously the rope lace that comes, you know, the traditional... Hiking boots that you'd buy at Walmart, yep. rope lace. Old school. And then you got the two flat laces, one in beige and then one in another side of brown. Dude, these are fucking fire. Look at the skull, dog, on the bottom. I know, dude. That's what I said. The whole These the, aren't worth 335 to you? Now see it? I, I want to go. I want to try to get them under three. But you dude. saw what happened with me in the humidity dunks, too. I'm, I got to take that out. I might just buy them on the cast right now. These are fucking flames, huh? These are And they're waterproof, sweet. dude. If you had a pair of these for today's weather outside. Oh. Dog, you're stomping. Dude, I'd beat the fuck out of these. And these are only going to look cooler, dude, I think, if, if you ask me. If I would have got my size in these, I probably would have just walked to the cast today. I would have walked here from my crib. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, I wouldn't have I would have not even been in the car. Just hiked. This would have taken the same hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, I would say. It would have been. Dude, these are. Dude. Yeah, but the whole although leather all being waterproof, you got the fucking skulls. Look at these skulls up top on both sides, dude. The metal skulls attached. God, and in gold too. That yep. just that just really sets it off with that burgundy colorway, dude. No doubt. God, they pop. And then obviously the mastermind fucking pressed in there, dude. Yeah. Um, and then what does it say here? It says what? Peace on Oh, on the outside. Peace outcome? on Earth. And then yeah, peace on earth. That's all what? it says, just peace on earth repeated all the says. way around yeah. there. And that's kind of uh that is what debossed into the outsole there. Yeah, dude. And then, dude, I love how it go. It was in. It was all the way on the outsole. It didn't stop there. It went all the way underneath, so you can kind of see the indentation. Oh yeah, I can't see on that. this outsole. How fucking sick is that? And see dude? that that says that says world on fire. It looks like on the bottom there. Whereas that piece on piece on Earth is is through like the the mid of the of the shoe. Do you see the difference? No, mine, both, mine says peace on earth all the way around. I don't ever see world on fire. This one says world on fire. Oh, fire. So that oh, one says peace on one, earth. This one says world on that's fire. Sick. Does yours say world on fire up here then? Uh, Yes, it does. Wow, so they're that's mismatched. That's fucking tight, That's dude. fucking sick. Yeah, dude. That is crazy. Huh. Crazy detailing. I didn't even notice yeah. that. It took two of us looking at the each different shoe to fucking huh. wild. Dude, Dude, these are super what, fire. What great quality. I've never seen a van shoe of <laughs> it's this so funny. quality. I, I, I want to rewind the tape right when you were like, yeah, I don't know, dude, for a Vans. And then I pulled them out the box. Now All you're of a fucking, sudden. You're totally flipped. Like you've never seen a Vans like this. Neither have I. Never. Though. I mean, these are. I mean, dude, I've bought fear of, the God. fear of God. I know. That's what I was going to say. And not, I've not sold even them? touching it, dude. No. Not even is... touching these. These are just super flames. Sorry, JJ, you want to see? This is My nice, bad. man. What a, what a shoe, man. I saw that before. zipper on the back is fucking stupid sick, I know. Too. Dude, I'd wear that fucking zipper, dude. Zip down. I'd fucking have this looking all fat, have my pants inside of a yeah. dog. I could style the fuck out of this shoe. I know. They're so Damn. ill. Especially with four lace options, too. Oh, those laces. Every one of those laces are sick. And I love that skull on the bottom, dude. It's just so many touches. You got the skull on the box. You got the Mastermind logo multiple times on the box. Dude, what a, what a great collab. The dope thing at first, I was kind of like, oh, man, I wish this fur would have gone all the way down into the shoe. But then I was like, you know what? Your feet would probably get so hot. Dog. It's probably yeah. perfect the way it is, dude. Especially, just around your ankle yeah. collar. If you wear low ankle socks, fucking keep your ankle warm right yeah. there. Dude, these are... Dude, that, those are going to trap in heat so well. I'm glad they stopped where the fur where they did. Do you think I could get these under... Uh, under three you think they'll go under three or no i don't they're not hyped there's not a ton of fucking hype around them here's what i would say so this kind of reminds me of that collab with uh, uh the nmds and henry pool that uh that high-end uh suit company out yeah. of the uk yeah, yeah, yeah um those were really really high for the longest time dude people are giving uh one pair of those nmds away so could this be one of those uh. same type of thing and i'm like basing it off of a collab i'm basing it off of a high-end fashion brand henry pool in this case uh mastermind it could fall it, it could but i don't know man looking at it in hand holy shit i'm blown away and that's what i'm saying i think these like that's the black pair that dropped too not even close i don't even think they have no. the fur on the inside either i would do the burgundy dude these are way and those are 300 so huh. these ones in my size right now 330 are so they? what I are mean, they in my size do a 10 uh let's see in a 10 you're looking at 297 
So yeah. just under three. And I think that's a price I'd be comfortable paying. But I dog, think I might pull the trigger. If I could squeeze into 11 and a half, I could get him for 268. I would do it for the cast. Pull out that fucking yeah. insole. Give it a shot. Pull out the insole. Well, Jesse, that's what I'm saying. Jess, that's what's crazy about Jesse is he got these in the nine and a half. He's normally a 10. And he says they fit. Dude, I go a half down. Remember, my true to size is 10 and a half. I go 10s in vans. They run Shut long. The fu- really? I'm fucking serious. Uh, I'm not. Dude. I'm not bullshitting you. I really want to do two sixty eight. Dude, fucking cop right some now. Some of the would, fe- dude. My I just fe- want to know they fit. Dog. My fear of God vans. The the era ninety five reissue. I I wear a nine and a half in those. Dog. Every time you normal feet motherfuckers try to tell me what's up, <laughs> and I, 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 the sizing's <laughs> fucked up. I'm serious. I'm not Fair even enough. trying to be funny there. No, it's just like every time right. someone that wears any an eight two and a, an eight to a ten and a half is like, oh yeah, dude, definitely half down. I fucking go half down. I'm crunched crunched in that shit can't move feet don't risk it huh then don't risk it how do you get the biscuit then here's what we need to do dude all we need to do is go to a van store try on the skate high which is that's the actual model the fur won't matter that much dude you just need to know the foot size dude i know you've had some apple bottom jeans but i've had boots with the fur (laughs) okay and i'm gonna tell you right now (laughs) that these (laughs) fair enough the fur makes a difference damn it yeah (laughs) i don't know i just need to see i think you need to try to put your foot in a skate high because that's what that model is i think you're right i think you're right let's go to vans today let's do it for the cast i'm fucking working dallas jesus not all of us took a pto day to go to dinner hey why don't you take a pto day you're not gonna fucking do anything anywhere there's dude look at look at all your artists here dude they're not even fucking tattooing right now now, there's right. nobody walking into this facility. That's true. Okay. How are the dabs, fellas? Yeah. Cool. Dab it up. <laughs> <laughs> the uh <laughs> It's so funny. Everyone just fucking high all the time over yeah. there. Oh, by the way, Boost God, he's uh or Teddy, he's uh he's in Japan right now. And it's funny, I, I looked at his uh socials this morning and that's what ties in with dabs. He's like Dude, I never really have any dreams, and he tweeted this out, but uh, last night, I had a dream that I was dabbing, because he's obviously off the weed right, right. in Japan, so yeah, thought I'd show that with you. He uh, he, he needs them wait, dabs. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so I haven't been following the journey as closely as I would like to, because I've just mm-hmm. been fucking busy, but I've been following as much as I can. I, have not, I haven't been able to see the vlogs and shit, but that's the good thing, is I know they'll always be there. I'm trying to catch his IG story and the shit that's going to go away. Totally. Because I can always go back and hit the vlog like when I get time. You know, I'll, be, I'll fucking just binge watch 10 on a fucking Sunday. Bet. Football's going to be over. You know what I mean? So uh, has he not smoked weed at all since he's been out there? Like, not there's that I know no... Of, yeah. I don't even know the laws and shit over there, dude. I know yeah. it's just a different world. I think he's staying, I think he's staying away from it. He, he and Ern are just kind of taking a break. Not because... They want to, maybe because they have to, maybe just, maybe a just, combo, just doing it. Yeah, yeah, you know? a combo of the logistics, not wanting to have any yeah. fucking issues, and plus the fool lost his passport. He had Who to go, did? He, Ted? What? He had to go try. He had to go fucking get that figured out. I don't know oh, what, what came of it, but you know, I don't think he's trying to get into any more fucking you know bullshit than what he has to. So Nightmare I think, scenarios. Yeah, I think he's just taking it off but, for sure. Uh, That's but dude, crazy. I, I dude. like those shoes, man. Dude, I think that's a great shoe. I'm gonna go try on. An 11, I'm gonna take your advice. I'm gonna go try on an eleven and a half right when Skate I get out of high. work. Yep. I'm probably gonna get out a little early, hopefully. Because uh, hey, let's just go now. I'll drive after the cast. I'll drive you down. I got you. What are you gonna run all my fucking? I gotta run some work errands too, Dallas. I gotta figure out what's going on, Dallas. Let me figure out what's going on. <laughs> I can't figure it out right now on the cast. Maybe J- maybe JJ goes Jesus, with me. Dallas just fucking ready to go. We're got a ready. day off. All of a sudden, he just wants to fucking go travel the world. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna get my electric scooter out in this bitch too. Dude, this right here. Yeah, what do you got here? This is crazy. Is it not opened yet? It's not opened. All right. This is unopened. I'm, I'm excited. And the reason I, I don't want to open this, uh, once I saw the homie Con Lee's name on here. Who's that? I, I knew it was fucking serious. Mm. You don't know Con Lee? What the fuck are you doing with your life? No, I'm just kidding. Con Lee's just... just <laughs> he's just... He's just <laughs> is that a subscriber? He's just a subscriber. No, okay. Yeah, exactly. He's just a subscriber to the cast. Is he related to Bruce Lee? He hit me up. He was like, bro, I got some stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I don't really fucking wear it. I see the homie JJ fucking coming in bummy. And oh, this motherfucker. Oh, bummy and scummy. This, his, no doubt. His shoes are looking, I mean, dude, his shoes are looking like fucking, they came out of the 1930s. I mean, his shoes look like they were around before Prohibition. So look at these shits, man. <laughs> Wait, so, so does JJ know what's in there? No clue. Fire. JJ didn't even know these were for him. Yeah. I fucking kept it all under wraps. I was just nice. acting nonchalant. I was like, oh, I know what that is. We'll just save it for the cast. And I fucking just threw it in the corner. All right. Now. <laughs> Here we are. Oh <laughs> shit, we got a note. Let me let me bust out the oh, note real yeah. quick. Let me bust out the note real quick. Let's say Con Lee, the shit. Thank you. Con Lee, this is fucking sick. Con sick Lee. of my man Con here. Uh, all right. Continue the great work. It's, it starts out. No hello. No hey, what's up, fellas? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. 
<laughs> my man Khan, right to the fucking point, which I love. I don't yeah. like no beating around the bush. Yeah. I like direct motherfuckers. You're pregnant or you're not. I love this guy. Gotcha. Continue the great work on the podcast. I've listened to all of them. I've watched most of your YouTube videos. JJ, I appreciate the hustle at your at your age. Excuse me, at your young age. Mm-hmm. I wish I was that motivated, hardworking at that age. You will go far with that work ethic. Continue pushing and w- the work will be rewarded. I hope you enjoy the two pairs of kicks. I know they're not super limited sneakers, but I hope uh, you will rock the mess out of them. I don't know what that is, but I think that means the shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's going to rock the shit. Fuck yeah. yeah that, know, thanks, he, he, man. I appreciate it. He didn't it. type in the poop emoji. Not at all. Okay. So that's what I think he meant. That John Denver's full of shit, man. All right, so uh, you can sell them if you you can sell them if someone steals your laundry again. <laughs> I've lived in crappier places in my younger days. I've had two pairs of Ultra Boost sneakers size eleven, but I'm not sure they will fit. Oh, so he's saying he does have two pairs of UBs. Depending on, um, they might fit, bro. Depending on uh, the. 3.0s, 3.0s you know, de- maybe. Yeah. Depending on what, what shoe they are. Yeah, Certain sure. 3.0s were fucking huge, oh, yeah. swimming in them. And then there was some like the, the bronzes that were just so tight, yeah. or the first triple blacks that were just Remember the Oreo? Tight. The Oreo 3.0s? Yeah. Fuck. Swimmers, dude. Man. Yep. Um, not sure if they will fit. Let me know if you can squeeze into an 11. I wear mine without the insole, so maybe mm-hmm. you can fit them. Dow, hope you win all the therapy sessions. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Thanks, Conley. Uh, Thomas, continue the great content. I appreciate the grind and a hustle. Maybe you and Dow will be in the next. Maybe you and Dow will be the next Skip and Shannon. God bless right. Con Lee. Fuck yeah, Hell dude! Yeah. Appreciate it, man. That's super, super cool. The homie Rich sending the fucking cups through. Yeah. Uh, Con sending these through for JJ. So first, number one, Ooh. nice little pair of Air Maxes here. This is a great summer shoe. Is right that here. the? It's close to the anniversary. Is that the? Yeah. It's not the anniversary no, pair, it's not but the it's just the, it's the Air Max one. Nice. So a nice fucking pair of Air Sick. Max ones there. Hell yeah. Super dope. Like That'll I said, sink. I have no idea. I didn't know what was coming in here. So that's a great, uh, that's a great summer shoe. Yeah, those things with shorts. Maxes may not be the most comfortable, but gosh, damn! In dude, shorts, Maxes with shorts in the summer, they look better than them. Ultra Boost with shorts. In my they do, opinion. they do. The Air Max kill it with shorts, well, especially certain pairs, man. Yeah. I think that one right there. I love the red and gray. Those dope. are sick. Dope. Very and easy then, to wear. Very easy to wear. Are you kidding me right now? We got the Supreme. Air Force One, famous, yeah. the Supreme Nike SB. Wow, look at that shit. These are fire in the canary yellow, dude, dog. With the with the Supreme insole. You know what? I'm gonna steal the insoles, JJ. You don't need these insoles, do you, dude? I'm with fucking... the extra fucking yellow laces. Yeah. 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 Wow. Con Lee coming in the clutch. That's so fucking Fuck fire, yeah. dude. That's JJ awesome. coming Dude, up on the cast. Con oh, looks like he didn't even wear these joints. They're fucking perfect. I think we need to have now we need to go uh it's funny, we almost just killed ourselves this morning <laughs> shooting a fucking thumbnail right running across traffic. We gotta shoot a new thumbnail now. Yeah. We gotta have someone else. We gotta have, go like grab Cobra and have someone take a picture of all three of us. Damn. Cause someone even said in the in the comments last week or in the uh um, yeah, on JJ. IG, where's my man JJ yeah. in the fucking photo? I'm like, JJ's taking the photos. What do you mean? I said, I'm always I said taking the photos. I said JJ was too busy uh iron his stringer. I oh, think, nice. I think that's yeah. That was good. Iron history. Yes. There he is. Yeah. Look at that, man. Look at, look at this guy. USA. That's good shit. Damn. Only in the USA, dude. Con. JJ. He is now in the hype game. He's in the good shoe game. This guy. This guy's. That's in fire. There. I don't even know. I don't even know what you would wear with that because you all your shit's so monotone. But maybe that's what you do. You do yeah, your, you do your normal dumbed down shit, and then you then you pop out like Big Bird in that bitch. Boom. Yeah. What exactly. Up? It's fucking. Look at this. Fuck yeah. JJ, I'm super hey, I'm proud of you, man. That's Thanks. it's cool that you're getting some recognition, man. It's cool that somebody's coming, you know, to 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 love what you do and love what you bring and uh you know, hopefully this pushes you to keep on to keep on going, man. People people do like you. People appreciate you. We appreciate you. Keep it up, man. For sure. Proud I'm going to let you keep this letter too. Yeah. So you Sounds could, you could hang that Sick. on your wall. That's super dope, man. Fucking ill. Hell yeah. Super, super ill. And never never are we asking anyone for never. anything on this show, man. Yeah. But we are more than appreciative. Dude, this cup you guys is probably with us that heavy. Rich, this cup is probably the coolest cup I've ever had. Right. Now, and that being said, I have I have an officially licensed Nintendo cup that has like a Game Boy scene on it. And when you put ice in it, it's just like the Rocky Mountains on the on the uh, Coors Light. The the mountains oh, get blue. Wow, that's pretty the sick. fucking Tetris game lights up, dog. Really? This this is pretty that's close. Rivaling this it this up? is pretty close to beat. Wow. It. This is I mean, cause this is this is us. This is right. what we do. That's so right. fucking cool, man. That's what that's I was telling Sal. Sick. Uh, <laughs> I was telling Sal that the other day he had someone give him Sal uh, Salvador Diaz one of the 
most fucking fire black and gray tattoo artist. I'll say in the country. I don't even know. I mean, I know there's a lot of ill tattoo yeah. artists in the country, but this motherfucker is bad, dude. And yeah. he's, I've just seen, he's put in a ton of work to get that good. But Sal, we were talking about that. His One of his clients gave him something. I don't even remember what it was. But it was something really just little. Yeah. Something that, I mean, these guys make doctor money. These guys can buy whatever the fuck they want. They all have nice cars. They all have gold chains. They all have nice shit. And they can, they make a lot of money tattooing. Uh, especially the ones like Sal that are just booked out. I mean, you can't even touch his books till November. He's fucking got appointments through. But for him to get something little that was just meant for him, someone thought about him, that shit means the world, dude. Like, that shit just means the world to people. For us to get these cups, man, for JJ to get these sneakers, like, you know how that is. I love gifts like that because that's how I love to give gifts. I'm not a guy Same. that... uh I'm not a guy that'll just show up with a bunch of presents on Christmas or birthday or whatever, but I may just show up randomly out the blue and be like, dude, I fucking saw this shit. It was super sick. I was thinking of you. You had to have it. Kind of like I did with the slippers. You know what I mean? I saw them. I was like, Dal would fucking love these. Hell yeah. You know, I can't afford to buy, you know, real fucking shatter backboards, but here you go, <laughs> dog. I'm going to give you some fucking shatter backboards, slippers. I was just thinking of you kind of thing. Your birthday happened to be close, so it kind of worked out. And uh, you had the kind of uh, work stuff, promotion stuff. So it's kind of all like one little, one little thing. But when you get gifts that are not... Uh, no matter how small or anything, some of those time, some of those gifts are the coolest, the coolest gifts, even yeah, if they're no the smallest kidding. thing ever, Fuck. because it just means the person was thinking about you. It's some shit you didn't expect. Um, you know what I thought about the other day? Yeah. I got, uh, dude, I got the sickest fucking thing for our bathroom. It was like six bucks on Amazon, dude. It's this thing that goes on the end of your fucking toothpaste. So basically it just slides on the end of your toothpaste tube and it has a crank. Oh, and yeah. it just cranks the toothpaste in. And it cranks from bottom cranks to from top. Cranks from the bottom, dude. Yep. And it just gets all the toothpaste out. That That's has been, nice. I hate that. That bothers me more than anything. I'm in the end trying to fucking get the last bit of tooth. Yeah. This gets it all out. You ain't, dude, I'm so cheap. I'll be cutting off the fucking back of the toothpaste thing and scraping the rest out a couple times. Really? Yeah, I'll be trying to get it all, bro. Damn. So uh, the fact that, uh, so I thought about it. Yeah, I was like, man, I told, I was like, babe, me and my girl were like, this is so cool. You know, it's the coolest shit and it's six bucks. I was mm -hmm. like, I should just go on Amazon right now buy fucking 10 of these bitches and give them out next year for Christmas to all the people. And they're not even going to be like, they're going to be like exactly how I am. This is the coolest fucking shit. I don't even care how much it costs. I don't care if it's fucking, and it's cost me six bucks. Now I'm, I probably gave them one of the coolest gifts they're going to get for Christmas because it's something not only that they can use, it solves a problem in their life. Maybe it wasn't as deep for them as it is for me. And maybe they're right. cutting the shit off and scraping the toothpaste out, but it's a problem solving thing and it's cool and it's unique and it's something that they're probably not going to buy on their own. I love that kind of shit, man. I love that kind of shit. I love those kind of gifts. So if you, uh, long story short, if you can fucking brighten somebody's day by, if you see something that just reminds you of your friend, reminds you of a, uh, your lady, remind, yeah. you know, just like you did at the yarn store that day, you just, yeah. we're like, Oh dude, there's this yarn boutique over here. We're on the scooters. We're already on Broadway. Let me stop by and fucking grab her some high dollar yarn. Bet. I thought it was a waste of money. She fucking loved it. Yeah. Great. Brilliant. I'm just kidding. Bro. Oh, I and hey, and I had I had the conversation with her. That it was a waste of money? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, geez, dog. No, no. Geez, I was just kidding around. Remember, I was remember, joking. Remember when we were talking about it? <laughs> quick turn. Yeah, I was like, geez. Is that is that hat for you or is that hat not for you? Oh. She's oh, making oh. herself the hat first because she's like, Dallas, you don't want the fucked up one. You, yeah, don't, yeah. you don't want the first one. You right. don't want first one. She's chin. looking out for your ass. She's like, I got you on the next one. I'm right. Like, All right, fine. That's cool. I'm looking forward to having That's it. That's smart. So she's about halfway first done. Shit. Yeah, no, I don't want no first Jennies. Okay, so she's halfway <laughs> done with this hat. It's looking pretty fire. I'm happy for her, man. She's, she's got a new tray, dude. She's she's really good at this. Um, it's helping her with her anxiety a little bit. Not that she has a lot. It just, dude, she just, she loves it, man. She just sits and relax on the couch. I get to watch fucking, you know, the, the fire documentary yeah. or Slobby's World, and she's just chilling with me, man. So it's cool. Before we go, uh, jump into the rest of sneakers here. Yeah. While we're on that topic. Which topic? A Yard? Couple, no, Robin, okay. you. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, you told me you were going to let me know on by the next cast. Yeah, you told me on right. Monday you're going to let me know on the next cast. That's right. What's going on with v What's going on Valentine's Day? I gotcha. Uh, so we're it's not. It's two weeks now later. Yeah. So we're not uh, going to book a room. Okay. Okay. But uh, the Dylan driving there, everything okay. good to go. So we're so we're set up. Let's do ice castles, ice and then castles dinner, dinner, and then head home. And then head home. That's exactly what Mia said. That's what all we're right, doing. We're all on the same page. Cool. So that's what we're doing. On we're we're coming to do the cast in yep. the morning. Absolutely. Then we're going to heading out. All right. All right. So we're doing that. All right. Sound cool. good? No PTO days. Well, except Robin and I. I think we'll take you know Friday off. And you guys are gonna take Friday off too? I don't know, man. You know, Valentine's Day is for a fucking weirdo. So uh, the day after Valentine's Day, I think we're just going to fuck like rabbits the next day. We're just taking PTO day off. 
Interesting. Wow, you got to take a PTO day to do some fucking. This is wild. Yeah, man. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to make sure I got electrolytes, uh, you know, on the yeah. countertop, ready to rock, got Gatorade. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking load your most underrated cup in. Oh. Damn. Load I, it up I, and go at it. Yeah. I don't want to be greedy. I need three of these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a new. Have a new. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. You want to get back to sneakers? <laughs> go, go back to sneakers. Oh, by the way, hey, I just had my last counseling. It went pretty <laughs> well. Uh, I, we don't need to get into what happened. Um, Why? What do you mean? Still undefeated. Okay. Oh, my gosh. But, uh, dude, we brought the dog with us. To your counseling session? Yeah. Why? No way. She, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JJ. What's the problem? Why? <laughs> What's the problem? God dang. There is no problem with that. I think that's fucking sweet. Our counselor loves dogs. So we started having a conversation with her about dogs. And she's like, oh, I just love dogs, blah, 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 blah. Do you know how therapeutic it is to have a dog in a counseling session? You probably don't because your fucks never went. You guys no. don't want to exercise your emotions and fucking talk about your problems. Oh, I do that now, on here. We do that without. Oh, dude. We don't need to waste money to I've do that. We do, it, we do it just before. fine. So having a dog there is pretty therapeutic. So uh, I, I will tell you this. <laughs> I like how he just no-sold that real quick. He just <laughs> Great. fucking... Yeah, no, yeah, that's cool. cool. Hey, we all need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've gone to therapy before. Well, let me tell you guys this. <laughs> Uh, so the, the therapist, <laughs> so the therapist allowed us to bring the dog because she's like, "Oh, I'd love to see your dog." Blah blah. We brought the dog, and it was the first time that uh, the dog made an appearance at our counseling session. And uh, some people would think that it kind of takes away from the session. And you're not a big dog dog guy, Zach, so I get it. I'm not a pet guy. You're, in not, general. you're not trying to fucking hear yeah. this, but um, it it kind of aided in the experience. It was nice, man, having the dog. And of course, the dog gets on the fucking couch with us, takes a chill pill, dude. It was, it was a cool experience, man. So I wanted to throw that out there. Was it loving the cat or the counseling <laughs> session? Is it more loving now? Is it more like, nice. yeah, are think, you guys, are you guys? Yeah, I think, well, I don't know. There was only one session, but I think obviously the, the dog in this case is the tie that binds. And I think it does make it a little bit more approachable. Uh, it, it takes stress off. It really does, man. It, it aids, I think. Well, it did this last, you know, we'll see what happens in the next session. But yeah, man, it was cool to have the dog there. Uh, I enjoyed it. Go ahead, JJ. If you guys don't have anything to say, that's cool. No, I, but I, I, I just want to share that. Go ahead. I thought it was cool. Will you guys be able to manage that without a dog? Like, I'm not. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what do you oh, mean? Fuck. Um, JJ, how well, were they managing before without the dog? Yeah. The yeah. answer so is yes. So they just yes. now brought the dog. Yeah, now what happens they just when they don't see, it just sounds like it got like a hundred times better and everything. Mm. It's like, why can't that just happen without a dog? Uh, I see what you're saying there. No, I think it's just cool. It's comforting. That's all it is. It just adds a, another element of comfort and it doesn't mean that I'm going to be closer to Robin. Yeah. I'm going to feel her. I'm going to touch her more. I'm going to look her in her eyes more. It's, it's the, none of that. It's just, it's a comfort thing. That's all. Yeah. I just, it's the bringing only thing a little I piece just, of you from home with you to a, to a situation that can be But you tough. just don't want to rely on something like that. There's That's no the relying thing. on a dog. Like at first, no, but like, what do you mean? No, relying there's on there's no dog? relying on the dog. We're just you happy create to have a the... relationship with your dog, it's part like, of a fucking, fucking family. Yeah, if we're going to family counseling, why wouldn't you have the whole fucking family there if you could? You guys are down a crazy rabbit hole right now. This is <laughs> this is fucking like me on YouTube after fucking after, ses- <laughs> after somebody be trolling us after a couple jet fucking dabs on a Saturday night. Jesus, no, I think it's a good thing. It's not gonna add or take hole. away. Don't I would say. Dude, we just brought the dog. It was a fucking fun session. I think it's good for the dog to be there because honestly, the dog was probably, probably feeling a little bit of discomfort. Yeah, and a yeah little, probably. Uh, in the house. Yeah. With dogs you two sure. arguing yeah. with you two. Yeah, he's dog tired there of hearing that shit. Yeah. The dog wants to see it fucking work out. The dog yeah. wants to know. I can see that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm good. glad that's the part you can see, JJ. Thanks, JJ. <laughs> 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 I'm really glad that's the part you can well, see out of I, all that. I, okay, yeah, you're right. The oh, dog's yeah. fucking. Yeah, he, he wants to see what's going on. Yep, I agree with that part. All right. No, so I would say that. That also, um, dude, I, I, sorry guys, we we're in sneakers and then we Jeez. fucking just went down a hole here, but <laughs> the fuck to kind of put a capper on it cause we're already here. Uh, I learned some shit about my relationship this week too. Did you? Uh, it's just been, we had, um, we had some things happen and I don't even know how to explain it. It was just, it wasn't even nothing serious. My girl was just in a bad fucking mood. Dude. Sure. So she was just in a bad mood just for a day or for a couple days. Two days. Okay. It wasn't really just just everything, dude. Between fucking menstrual cycles, uh, yoga teacher training, plus the job, just super run down, super tired. That's Bur- just ended. She just out. had her yoga grad party. All that oh, shit just she? ended. Yeah. So and you didn't go. She's finally done. No. No. I, no. I had to go to Robbins. Really? Yeah. Oh, she didn't even invite me. It was just like, hey, I'm going to my th- my thing, and then that was it. It's friends and family. Huh. That was what it was. Wow. Damn. She, you know, we just kind of do our own thing. That's dog. Cool. Like, yeah. we don't need to be 
culture. She has a lot of friends, which is nice because I have a lot of friends too. So we don't rely on each other to be those friends as well. Hmm. Like she has friends in certain circles. They can hang in that circle and do their thing. If she wants me to come along, cool. I'll come along here and there, whatever. But hmm. it's not like a have to or a must or like, it's not weird. Like, oh, well, why isn't he here? What's going on? You know, like just is what it is. Plus I was, you know, I, th- I think uh, it was Saturday. I was working on all that shit anyway. Right. But what I, what I kind of realized in the, in the relationship and in the arguments that we have. And I guess I kind of realized this before, but if you're doing, and I just want to share with the audience, man, because if you're doing this, you need to fucking stop because it's not getting you guys anywhere. And I noticed it with me a couple of times. I noticed it with my girl a couple of times. And I had to like, I had a realization, like when we were arguing, sometimes people are arguing from points to get shit accomplished. And that's where I'm trying to argue from. I'm trying to argue from, I don't like this. Do you understand why I don't like this? And how can we move forward? You know what I mean? That's where I kind of try to justify things from when it becomes that outside of that. And then you start bringing up old shit to jab the other person or just to burn them or like to fucking, we do that. And it's like afterwards, it's like, what's the point? Where, where's that going? How is that helping us progress? How's that helping us evolve? If you're with someone like that, or you feel like you uh, you're in a relationship and you feel like you have to do that to the other person. You probably don't have enough love and respect for that person anyway, because you're just trying to prove them wrong. You're not trying to actually listen to what's going on, listen to what they're unhappy with, and then maybe come to a resolution together. You're not bringing up any argumentative points that are moving you forward. You're bringing up arguments that are just there to burn your partner or jab your fucking partner or slit their throat. And it's like, what's that for? To make them feel bad for fucking three seconds? Does that give you a moral victory? Like, what the fuck is that for? It's stupid. It's pointless. And that's a lot of shit that I did at a young age. Being a fucking shit talking Italian, I fucking, that's, that was my game. It was just to, how, how fucking far can I bury you and make you feel like shit? And then maybe that's when you'll realize you're wrong. And it was like, I was going about it the way wrong way. You know what I mean? Like, stupid that shit's never gonna work so that's just something i realized man and it's it's it was happening for me before it was happening subconsciously i didn't even until i actually thought about what was happening i didn't even know i was doing it Hmm. i didn't need counseling some people need counseling to tell them they were doing it i was able to kind of do some self-discovery and not being in those old relationships and really wanting this relationship to work uh changing things you know what i mean just looking at myself looking at the stuff i had fucked up in my previous relationship not necessarily placing all the blame but not necessarily saying hey, it's all my fault, but taking the things that I could from them and learning. So that's all, man. Just learning experiences, learning from those arguments. But uh, most importantly, man, arguing from a place of uh, to gain understanding and arguing from a place of respect and understanding, not so much jabbing and fucking shit talking and burning right. and just to make them feel bad. You know what I mean? So that's that's kind of where I will leave that. Uh, sorry that derailed your fucking timestamps too, JJ. It's like all over the spot in the yeah. mirror, all over the place. I'm sorry. We normally don't do that too crazy like that, but uh, all sorry. right, <laughs> go back, go back to sneakers, Dal. All right, <laughs> unless sneakers. you have anything more to comment, but no, no, I'm good with that, man. No, I think uh, good job on your self discovery, and uh, yeah, you can't you can't jab your partners, man. It, uh, it, it you only can, gets you it's so just far. not good. Yeah, yeah, it only gets you so far, and especially after you do it for a certain amount of time. There's they resentment. Start, yeah, they start to look at you differently. You're not the same guy, and then that's almost when you have to wipe the slate clean and start a new relationship yeah. with someone else, because yeah. there becomes those points where you get to a point in a relationship where what you were is no longer what you are, and you're never going to get that back from them yeah you're never going to get that respect that loyalty that trust that anything then you'll turn out to uh, turn out to be like somebody like me unfortunately remember how cool i was dude back in the day i used to jab everybody i was fucking yeah i used to be so fucking tight man but I, but i <laughs> but i but i jabbed robin one too many times and i didn't know that i was actually jabbing her so she had a lot of resentment man and that's that's a lot of things that we discuss in counseling unfortunately oh and that's and see you guys are still trying to come back from absolutely that. right and it's a hard thing to do man right it's a hard that's thing to do. that's kind of that was that i'm Glad we ended on that. That's exactly where I wanted to go, man. Once Bad. you get to a certain point, sometimes there's going back, depending on, but you may need counseling. You may yep. have to fucking bring your dog in. You may have to do all the shit you're doing. <laughs> right. Going, taking PTO days just to go to dinner. You know yeah. what I mean? Like to fill the love tank. You're in deep full. Yeah. You're going to yoga, fucking grad parties. You're doing a lot. Yeah. I'm not doing all that stuff, yeah. but stuff's still going okay. I'm tanked out. Right. I'm yeah, tanked out, tanked up. Right. Whatever. No doubt. You're. I don't know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Cool. Take that L on the way out. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. So getting back into sneakers. So uh, I think we kind of looked at everything that we had, unfortunately, but let's talk about a couple sneakers that obviously uh, are coming up just right around the corner. We obviously know about the Bape Ultra Boost. Yeah. Um, those come out February 2nd. Uh, must cop or must drop at 200 for you? Uh, either, either camo colorway. If I can get them at retail, I'd go for them. Do but you I'm think not. you can get them at retail? Are you doing a cart service? No. Me either. No. 
I don't even care about the shoe that much. Me either. To be dead honest with you, I don't even. Yeah. They'd almost have to fall in my lap. I'm not. I don't even Were think they? I'm going to get on the computer and try to grab them. Like I'd have to get a, a tweet notification from Boost Links saying, "Hey, these restocked and they're in stock, and then I can go get them at retail." It would yeah. have to be one of those kind of situations. Gotcha. It's not going to be a point where I have my phone ready. I, I go on right when they drop. I'm trying to battle everyone. I'm not getting a cart. Uh, I have a ton of Ultra Boost. I told you a couple months ago before they cl- canceled the fucking Climb Me Adidas. I was like, dude, I may sell every pair of Ultra Boost I own except for like maybe my Solar Yellows and just a couple pairs that I really love. Mm-hmm. And I might just go customize Climbers and just own all Climbers because they're so fucking sick. And those are the colors that I would actually want. The schemes, everything. I can create the shoe and make it exactly how I want. And Ultra Boost isn't a fucking major flex for me anyway. I'm not right. one of those people that went back and got every solar yellow one or solar <laughs> all 1.0. 1.0s, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not to say that's bad if anyone did, but that wasn't me. That wasn't my flex. I didn't feel like that. I'd rather rock. I've seen way more sick fucking climbers than I've seen yeah. uh, colorways that Adidas ever dropped. Yeah. I mean, tons of dope climbers, dude, that people customized. Mm-hmm. Shit that I, ideas that I wanted to bite, ideas that I did bite, I fucking my own ideas that I did create. <laughs> ideas that you couldn't because they didn't have the materials for your pairs. size. No, I got three fucking pairs of those climbers and I would have got dude. more if they fucking didn't have my size. I got the teal, the, the thin mint joints. Yeah. I got the, the color kind of wannabes with the gold stripes on the side. You got the Miami Hurricane joints. Yep, I got. I had the fucking. Uh, well, I had the all whites. I sold them. Yeah, uh, the blue with the blue. Um, I had the triple black with the green and yellow, kind of the solar in there. Yeah, uh, sold those. I what else do I have? I have oh, and I have the Miami Hurricanes ones. Yeah. those are the three I have currently: Hurricanes, Thin Mints, and the fucking nice. the color one. I've still got three pairs of them. I've got the Parlay joints as well. Oh in yeah, the okay. Cools, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I had that. Uh, I don't think they're Climate Cools. They're not. I don't know. I call them climate cool. I think they're just climb us. Cool. Climate cools are the socks. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know for sure. You're probably right. Someone roast me in the comments. <laughs> Go ahead. That's fine. I don't know. What about? I just uh, want to fuck with you. <laughs> what about any of the other Bape stuff? Because uh, you know, they're obviously this is their football collection. You know, February second, close to the Super Bowl, yada yada. So they're doing the whole collection. So we've got like a jacket, and we've got the the Bape gloves that make the fucking weird Bape whatever that thing is. What is yeah, that yeah. thing, JJ? That what? fake Bape. is. But so they've got the gloves, they've got the football, they've got the cleats, they've got the jackets. Anything you're looking at? Do you want to know what any of the retail is on that? Anything you're interested in? Nah, I'm not gonna. I, I'm with you. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't really fuck with Bape stuff. I don't really fuck with camo a ton. Yeah. I have like one pair of like camo joggers that gotcha. I like them a lot because they fit really well. Uh. But it's not like I'm attached to the pattern. And it's more just a fit. If they were fucking tan, I'd wear them the same. You gotcha. know what I mean? But I'm not. A, I'm not a big camel guy. Gotcha. Well, the the helmet. So just so you know, let's go over it anyways. The helmet is six hundred dollars. <laughs> the training tights are forty. The arm sleeves are forty. The football itself is sixty. The football gloves is sixty, which is I think what Supreme yeah. was charging theirs. So pretty similar. The football jerseys they've got at one forty. The cleats are at two hundred. The Ultra Boost obviously is at two hundred, and then the hoodies are at two hundred as well. So pretty expensive, man, for that kid shit. If no you ask doubt. Me. So I won't be getting anything. Uh, I, I might, might buy the helmet just so I can go do the same thing I did at Dick Sporting Goods that day. Oh yeah. Call a couple audibles, go to the line. Oh dude, I wish we would have had our our uh, oh, that was fire. our podcast IG going at that time. Uh, we were we were at Dick Sporting Goods one day, dude, and I fucking <laughs> there was like we were in like the youth football section. Yeah. I found a helmet and I fucking squeezed it onto my head, strapped the whole thing up, <laughs> stepped out into the fucking aisle. Yeah. Red! Seven yelling out fucking yeah. calls, checking audible refrigerator on line, three at the line, fucking yeah. getting the clap going, yeah. snapping the ball. It was Get, fucking sick. Everyone's just looking at me. Dallas yeah. is fucking dying, hitting the Bud Kilmers. Oh, Come dude, on now. Come dude, on. Yeah, we, we got this, Mox. God damn it, Moxon. <laughs> oop de fucking oop. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. I was fucking oh, killing it, dude. It was great. You should have been there, JJ. It was tight. So, we took over the whole bottom side of Dick Sporting Goods to do these. <laughs> to, we, we just did a couple fucking runs, real quick. Yeah, no big just, deal. Just a couple. Uh, We're just trying uh, on the vapor gloves. Uh, You're just trying to make, you know, trying to make a decision here. Okay? Exactly. So, exactly. All right. So, we're done with Bape. That's good because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on that bullshit. But uh, I'll try to get those boosts if, if, if I can. But again, I don't, I don't really even want to wear them. I'm not a camel guy. So, next shoe. Uh, let's go with. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to get the shoes that are obviously closest to release dates. Right, of course. Um, at this point, uh, the next shoe that I, I, I'd like to talk about is uh, the Element 87. So oh, yeah, a, you were pumped on that new color. Yeah, there's a new colorway, and uh, they call it the Royal Tint colorway. This comes out February 15th, obviously at the $160 price point. As you know, I have two. I had three pairs of the 87, sold one. Uh, but I, I really like the shoe, man. I think it's a great gym shoe. Oh, by the way, let's talk about that real quick. I got quick. it pulled up. Yes, sir. Dude. I went to Planet Fitness last night. No, you oh, didn't. Gosh. And number one, I'm going to fix something for Fuck, JJ. Dog. What? Fuck. Okay. 
they don't just have 55 pound dumbbells or 60 or 65. Those motherfuckers go up to 75. So just Ooh. so you know, so they got crazy. some big, they got some big dumbbells over there. Okay, JJ, because you said they max the ones, out at like fifty. Okay, I'll give you that. But the ones that twenty four hour, I think, go to like one twenty or something like that. One twenty five. Because you need those. Yes. Fuck out of here. I do. You don't do no skull bashers with one twenty. Get out of here. I don't. What are you doing with one twenties? With eighties, dude. You don't yeah. even know, dude. I'm over there doing rows. Yeah, eighties, not one twenties. I'm working my way up. Yeah, well, but 70, you said break. it goes to 75s only. He's I think, doing 80s. I think it was 75. I saw 75 for sure. I didn't see 80s, but there could have been 80s. So you could still do your 80s still, there at PF. I, I can see myself being <laughs> kicked out of that place so fast. Why? It wouldn't even be funny. Why would you be kicked out? Would they call? It, would your name be Sir Lunk a lot? <laughs> probably. Well, why, well, why because would you be I start out? off... Because I... At least for like squats or probably or leg day or back because with uh, back I deadlift and I drop weights and everything and I'm usually dropping my like max right now is I think uh, two seventy. They don't want you in there squatting your G string. Is what you're saying? <laughs> like, hey, like, we'll be doing squats in your G string. Put some shorts on. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, you know what? They have a rule there. <laughs> what? <laughs> they have a rule there, and you cannot carry around more than a gallon of water. Uh, Planet Fitness. Yeah. Oh. Is that another? Of course you can. Is that no. another issue? That's another lunking. You, JJ? That's another no, sign of I lunking. I just carry a small bo- uh, water bottle. Which lunking? Yeah, they call it lunking. What is yeah. that? So they have a lunk alarm. So it's just being a douchebag. Yeah. So it's being it's lunking? being that gym, gym doucher, oh, and okay. they call it lunking. If if they find you lunking, they're gonna fucking set off this alarm and kick your ass out. That's serious. Yeah. They have yeah. an alarm, dude. Yeah. They do. To like alienate people? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If it's ironic because the whole point of that fucking gym is for everyone to feel comfortable yeah. and shit like that. And if you're making somebody <laughs> feel else uncom- around you uncomfortable, they will lunk you the fuck out of there. Wow. That. Isn't that crazy? Do you feel uncomfortable ever when you're there? No, because I don't fucking pay attention to nobody. What are you doing there? When I'm you fucking, go, what are you doing? I'm walking around. I'm picking up weights. I'm fucking farting. I'm not cleaning out the weight benches when I'm done with it. Fuck it. I'm out. Why are you... <laughs> <laughs> Disrespectful ass. Yeah, I'm what, disrespecting this fucking what do you, gym. Walk me through your workouts. Oh. What are you doing there when you go? When you show up, when you walk in, yeah. what the fuck do you do? Sure, give me sure. A, give me yeah, a right. breakdown. So here. last night, here's... I can't even see your ass at the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, I was there last night, dude. Fucking, I was hitting her. Doing so, what? First thing, they have a stretching room. Okay. okay? So they have like, oh, you know, these yoga mats. No fucking Supreme yoga mats. And I couldn't bring mine because yeah. I don't want to fucking get kicked out. Right. Okay. So I just fucking start with some arm stretches. You know, what have, so I decided to do top of body. <laughs> so I tried, you know, shoulders, back. Back, fucking tries buys. Um, did a little I bit. I love fork. to see these stretches. Oh yeah, dude! I was doing some fucking great stretches. I was doing yoga stretches. So you man. get in there, you oh, start really? doing your so, own personal yeah, yoga. Yeah, so I was just doing. So I was licking my butthole, doing my own stretches. Yeah. You know, just doing whatever, licking my back. Wow, that's um, gross. Got all stretched out, whatnot, <sighs> and then. Then I just go down to the fucking, uh, the arm pool downs, you know, where I'm doing some, some fucking shoulders, pulls. dogs, some lap, pulls, lap yeah. pools, you know what I'm saying? Just getting saucy out there. <laughs> yeah. Then I fucking go work some back. I do the fucking, you rows. know, pulls right to your, what do you call those? Rows. Yeah. I was doing some rows. Fuck rows. yeah. I was rowing. I was rowing. I was, I was With correct rowing. form though? With correct form though? Yeah, man. Keeping my back straight, dog. Absolutely. I can't do it in this fucking chair. But yeah, dude, I was, oh yeah, fucking like that, dog. Uh, Maybe uh, you still, okay. side, side in the fucking, you know, all the, all the. <laughs> are you next to the mirror? Oh, dude, absolutely. Yeah, you got to see. Yeah. Got to see. You got to see what you're setting on fire. Yeah, there. I wasn't making a lot of noise though. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking watching those fucking pictorials just busting out, dude. I'm I'm looking at the fucking tries. Just yeah. Like, it's oh, fucking yeah. sick. Yeah. Oh, bro. And then and then and then what? I went to the fucking went to the dumbbells and fucking just you know s- stood up. You know, <laughs> I was doing the fucking sh- sh- curls. Sh- sh- is that Hell, curls? Yeah, I was doing Hammer some curls. curls. Yeah. Okay. So I was going hammer time I for I sure. I can't really tell. Yeah, sorry, it's was. hard, man. Fucking being connect connected to the mic, it's hard telling. What are right? you using? Seventy fives for the curls? No, nah, man. I was using <laughs> no. I was using thirties and thirty fives, dog. Yeah. No seventy fives here. Okay. Right. Okay. And my fucking arms are sore, dude. I can't even lift what up. What you want to do of- with those is is sometimes better to use lighter weight so you could really kind of hold that tension in your bicep to kind of really build the muscle. That sounds mm. like a, that sounds like a sore. You want to hold a little bit. You want to nice and you want to explode up and then hold back down yeah. slow. <laughs> Hey, I think I think we all all three of us should go, and JJ should get just for the cast one day. Yeah, I think it'd be fucking hilarious. I'm already ready, already. Yeah, I think we should do that. But anyways, so then I fucking go, then I get one of them fucking thirty fives, and I start fucking doing the you know shoulders and back again, just skull crushers. Oh yeah, one of those, huh? What? That's for uh, triceps. Oh, is that for triceps? I don't yeah. know. More I, tries. I don't know. I felt it in my back and shoulders too. Okay. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe you didn't have the right form. Yeah. Maybe you almost dropped it on your head. Fuck. <laughs> 
I'm surprised they didn't lunk me out of there. I man. would never do that. Yeah, I'd, I'd drop so that thing on my head so fast. The great thing about Planet Fitness is, mm. dude, they got those fucking, they got those purple uh, Tootsie Roll things in there too. Like they Foam got a roller. Big, no, that you eat Purple tootsie. the Tootsie Roll, like the like oh. the like the little chewy Tootsie Roll things. Oh, real Tootsie Rolls. Okay, oh. yeah, they got some of those, but it's not the Tootsie Roll Great. brand. It's the off brand, but but they're but they're purple, just like yeah, yeah, Planet yeah. Fitness. They got a big old container of them. So, dude, after every fucking workout, I'm going to get some Tootsie Rolls. No, workout, you're not Tootsie Rolls. No, you are not, oh, dude. For That's sure, disgusting. Hey, and how then, do you get a workout and while you're eating candy? Oh, it's fucking tight. And That's then fucking... at the end of the workout, you are so disrespectful. Hey, guy at, the about... end, at the end of the workout, the, you know what I did? I hit the aqua massager. What is that? Woo! A pool? Wow, Dallas really popped the mic there. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Not bad. I, was, I was pretty excited. Sorry Did about you your even ears. work out at oh. this rate? Like JJ, I was there for an hour. Hell yeah, I worked out. Okay. So, well, anyways, then I went to doing the- what? Eating tootsie rolls? <laughs> <laughs> no, after every interval workout. Yes, I was eating some tootsie rolls. What's the aqua massager? So the aqua massager is like this bed. <laughs> and and you oh lay in this gosh. bed. Do you know this, JJ? No, but oh. this is and you this all- is some bitch shit right here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry I, I put on my stringer just to do this though because i couldn't have the stringer out there i'd get kicked out but anyways i go to this aqua massage table dog and i think it's actual water so you can change yeah, the it is. so you can yeah it's aqua massage right right, right, right. so you change no shit. you change the pressures on it right so you've got pressure like one through five and then you've got speeds one through five so it like what it'll do it'll start wherever you want and you can actually limit you know maybe some people don't like their head massage with yeah, this water because yeah, yeah. it's fucking loud and it's weird so I, you can set your adjustment as to where you want it. So it started like at you know the bottom of my feet and goes all the way up your body, dude, at a certain speed and a certain pressure, and you can adjust that. And it's like this water that's just massaging parts of your body, dude. It was fucking great. How many people were in the gym last night when you went? Was there a bunch of people? Was there was it kind of crowded? When I first got in there, yeah, there was about uh, probably 30, 35 people in there. And okay. then as my hour uh, got done with or whatever, I went to the aqua massage, there was like, I don't know, 15. Yeah. In there. Nothing yeah. crazy. So about half. But yeah, man, it was a great experience, man. I enjoyed it. I'm sore as fuck today. Sounds great. But I was in there like swimwear. Sounds good. It, it sounds like I'm actually a uh, geek to go. I'm going to go try the aqua massage. So yeah, do you have sweet. an actual plan? Like, do you do a certain like muscle group each and every day? Or yeah, do try you to. just go in there and be like, fuck yeah. it? Yeah, no, I, I wanted to just kind of get my upper body going a little bit. I, I did a little bit with my legs just to just to make make sure they were alive. Are AJ? you back on consistent, though? Are you on back on consistency? Or are you? What, uh, what's one, your... one time is not consistent, no. So I need to go a few more times. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Yeah. That's the first time you've been in a while? Yeah. Since you told us about the membership? Yeah. Oh wow, Damn, Probably. dude! Yeah, so you're their perfect customer. You're their perfect custy. I know, man. Paying twenty five, twenty dollars, twenty one dollars <laughs> a month. But dude, I fucking used the hell out of that aqua massager. That was sweet. So I enjoyed that. But anyways, how did we get off topic there? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, me I don't either. remember. It's gonna uh, be an interesting timestamp. Interesting, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the back to the element eighty sevens. Oh, I think because I said it's it was gonna be a, like sneakers. That's what happened because I said it, sneakers. Blah, 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 <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why because the element oh, eighty seven. I wore that to the gym last night. Oh, okay. And it was okay. a great gym okay. shoe, and that's where I went on by tangent. But um, yeah, so you have it pulled up. What do you think about that colorway? I think these are actually pretty sick. The light sky blue with the Ooh. little red accent in the back. You got the gray swoosh on there, translucent, same upper, all the that stuff. The turquoise suede hits. Yeah. I think uh, it's a nice shoe, man. I I'm do. looking I like, forward to it. Yeah, that. they're pretty cool. I think it's a good summer yeah. uh, summer shoe. Like Spring I said, 87s, shoe. for me, I haven't copped a pair yet, and it might be because it's, they're just so hard to style with jeans. So it, once summer comes and I'm able to rock them with shorts, yeah. I, might, uh, I might swing And find a size a 12 and a half, which would be sick. Right. Yep. Sizing, and sizing's an issue as well. Gotcha. You know. All right, check this out. Uh, so we'll move on from there. Uh, so the latest. So I, I know you're a big fan of Undefeated. We've went there. They've they have some cool shit, and we've bought some cool shit there. Yeah. Maybe the experience of buying that shoe wasn't that great because that dickhead that plowed through us. Yeah, in, yeah. in Vegas. But uh, so the latest Undefeated Adidas collab has been uh, rumored and announced. Do you know anything about it? No. Cool. Let me show you a couple picks here. What do you think about this? Oh, I've seen those. Those are dope. So these are slated to celebrate America. So July 4th is when these are rumored to release, which nice. is pretty cool. Here's Why are they orange and blue, though? It's red. It's supposed to be red. I think it is red. Yeah, oh. it's supposed to be red and Yikes. blue. America, July 4th. No, it, it, it's, really like, it's like it's like a bright red. It's like a, to, it's like a tomato red. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So the problem I have with this is 
It's obviously a 1.0. It's too fucking white. You got white midsole, white outsole, white fucking heel cup. Um, it does Wasn't have that the point though. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I guess the white, but I think For that's to really stand out, or the laces to at least stand out. Yeah, I think that's what allows the America in the shoe to really pop. Plus, is, it's like, yeah, it's red, white, and blue. What else could they have done? Yeah, to, like, let's but, be honest with ourselves. But I mean, so I think it's cool. Definitely not a must cop. I like the USA inspired. Um, hits that they did within that, but uh, you know, if it were I, I like last year's undefeated uh, release, the one that actually had the U N D F T whatever really kind of based on, out that. on yeah, that, that that like black or navy pair. I it's really enjoyed black that and pair. White, yeah, is that what it was? I honestly like these a little bit better. The only thing that I'm not really feeling, I'm pretty much feeling everything about the shoe. Yeah, the triple white is a little played out, but sure, I think there's enough going on in the front that it differentiates and varies that for me. The thing I hate, and I, you probably know, dude, it's that fucking translucent cage. Dude, they're bringing back the 3.0 translucent I cage on that these. I hate that cage. Yeah. Worst cage they've had on any Ultra Boost ever. Yep. Dog, you're telling me that you don't want to hit us with a fucking white cage with red, white, and blue mm. stripes mm. or a fucking black cage or, you know, whatever, something. Yeah, where's boosted stripes when you need them? Dude, they, that's exactly Could've when you need them. Could have changed the game. That's... I don't know. That translucent that like, ruins the shoe for me almost. Because it's like a cream translucent heel cup. Oh, yeah, that was that was something that people hated. Obviously, I honestly think here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cop a red, white, and blue pack of fucking boosted stripes, and I'm gonna throw those on those bitches if I get them. Yeah, do that's, it. That's what I would do. That would make sick. that so much better, dude. Yeah, that would make it so much better. Everything is red, white, and blue, and then you want to come with a fucking milky white semen looking fucking cage. cage. Really? Yep. Fucking terrible. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Everything else is fire. I like. I can't I'm, believe they, I'm not even necessarily fire, but everything else I'm happy with. I would like a little. I would like the red and blue tongue tap, or I mean, a heel heel pull tap too. That would have been fire. You have one red, like one blue. Yep. Opposite colors like red cage, blue laces. A little more creativity. Red. There's a, there's a lot of more. Yeah. Yeah. The cage so, just falls flat for me. Yeah. So what we're getting to is kind of Adidas yet dropping the ball again. You know, we look. At I hate this, that. I hate like feeling like we're shitting on them all the time. But. I know, but but we're giving it's honest true. opinions. Uh, we're just giving honest opinions. Dude, That's all we're doing. It's insane how many cool. people have created Cage. better models in custom. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, than yeah, the actual fucking companies. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. So, so that was just uh, rumored uh, this past weekend. So that was a shoe that was just kind of announced. Uh, obviously, July fourth is obviously the the release date thus far. We'll see kind of what comes out of that. But I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, what about Jordan four? I'm a big fan of Jordan fours. You know, that's kind of what got me into the game. The bread fours. Have you seen the Jordan four bright crimson? I don't think so. Is it the one Khaled had? Oh, that's totally different. No, it's totally different. No, I mean, I'll look at them. I'll look them up. So bright yeah, crimson. it's the, the bright crimson Jordan four. So segmented to release March 2nd at 190. Um, I think this is going to be one of those that probably does sit. I don't think it'll sell out instantly. Um, I think this is just so GR. But I, I, I like some of the hits on it. It looks like it's gonna kind of got some like graffiti hits yeah. on the black with that that orange crimson they use, and then it's got it on the on the cage as well. And then you've got obviously the crimson on the bottom on the outsole, and then the crimson on the behind the tongue. So I think you know pretty basic, but. Uh, a pretty easy one to wear in the summer. I wish the upper was just a different color, man. The white upper, you know how that ruins it for me, dude. Yeah. Uh, Plus, it shows the creases so much. Yeah. That dirt gets in those creases on the fours and the threes, and it just looks like the shit. white netting is going to look like shit soon. Yeah. Like not too long after you get them, it looks like the leather's really nice up, uh, especially up towards the back. Like yeah, it's got that extra it. like veiny tumble. Mm -hmm. Is what kind of similar looks like. to the the hyper crimsons. Yeah, they kind of have that same weird. Yeah, they do. It's not like tumbled leather like you normally see on Jordan ones. It's like a yeah, it's like a veiny tumbled leather. Like yeah. it's like a crinkled yeah. leather. You know what I mean? Like you took a piece of paper and crinkled it up and then it has those wrinkles, but it's not did tumbled. You, did JJ get with him and help design that? Because he's, got, been, he's yeah. got the crinkled shirts, kind of resemble. The crinkled stringer, yeah. You might have had the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Real nice. Real nice. The crinkled Dallas. stringer, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So uh, must copper now. Crinkstein. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Crinkstein. <laughs> uh, pass, yeah. pass or copy? Pass for me, gotcha. I think. Yeah. I think so. I think so. That might be one. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you on there, and I'm gonna say well, I gotta see that in hand. Yeah, and I might cop that. All right, right now it looks like a pass for me. Gotcha. The other thing I think we've talked about it before. There's just so many fours coming out this year. I don't feel like I need yeah. to reach. Go ahead. So we do have a hard date. It looks like on the actual bread four with the Nike Air on the back. So it looks like we have a release on May 11th. So obviously a must cop. That's crazy. 
I thought they were talking about like November for those. Yeah. May so, 11th? So it looks like May 11th is the release date, which will be a Saturday. And you know that the uh, Varsity... I don't think it's the infrared six, but the varsity six is what yeah, they're called because yeah, yeah. it's a darker. Right. Uh, this like more of the OG. Uh, that's that's a February release. So next month, I think it's like the sixteenth. Don't quote me on that. But what about on those bread for oh Nike Air and everything all? Is, that, that, is it the exact same as the uh, the twenty twelve pair or uh, fourteen pair? I'm sorry, or was it thirteen? Thirteen no, or fourteen? Uh, no, the twenty twelve. The twenty twelve did oh, have 12 the Nike pair. Air twelve pair. Yeah. Wait, My they dropped pair. bread elevens and bread fours in twenty eleven or twenty twelve. I don't remember the 11s. I remember, I remember the 4s. 11s definitely came out in 2012, dude. Let yeah, because my bread 4s are the 2012, and they obviously just jump man out. No OG Nike on the bottom. Oh, you you don't have Nike Air uh-uh. on yours. No, mine are just jump man. Gotcha. What what am I... Th- oh, I was thinking of the last black uh, white cement 4s that they dropped with the oh, uh, uh-huh. Nike Air on yeah. the back. They haven't dropped the black cement Mm-mm. with the Nike Air. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, it was 2012? Yeah, 2012 on my jump man. Uh, bread... I, st- I still have that pair of dead stock. Crazy, look at yeah, look at this 2012. Uh, oh, my bad, bread 11 2012 retro playoff, huh? That's the one, uh, that's the one I, I got from Cecil in that trade. Gotcha, yep. so so yeah, they did the bread for that year as well, but again, no Nike Air on that or anything. Crazy, dude, why was where was I? Interesting, I'm yeah. looking up, um, I'm looking up the bread for right now, dude. I literally, uh, Bread Jordan 4. I'm not even seeing a 2012 release on StockX. I'm seeing the old one. I'm seeing black laser, tattoos. That's interesting. You type in, oh, because they call it black cement 4, huh? Yep, 2012. Mm -hmm. There it is. Jumpman on the back. Yeah, they don't call it bread. There it is. And then the last time it was released before that was in the countdown pack, the the 08 one. Mm-hmm. Jumpman on the back too. Yeah, that's going to be a super sought after shoe. Those bread fours with the Nike Air are going to be fucking. Yeah. Uh, it'll probably be like a lot of the shit lately though. Tons of pairs. Yeah. So, so I think I think 99 was probably the last pair that had Nike Air on the Wild. Back. Yeah. Because they hot. also did it in 89, which right. was the original. Oh, OG that one, was yeah. the OG. And then the retro was uh, Decade 99. later. Yep. Yeah. 99. So Crazy. So looking forward to seeing that, which is cool. The only other thing I kind of want to talk about sneakers, you may have something else, but uh, did you see the latest complex sh- uh, shopping this morning? No. No, dude. I actually, you were watching it. Yeah, it was your boy Future uh, was on with uh, Joe this morning, and they they closed down a Barney's. So I found it interesting that they shopped at a Barney's versus like a flight club or a stadium. Yeah, goods. for sure. Um, but seeing what Future was into and buying, I kind of understand. So first of all, Future uh, he spent thirty nine thousand dollars, which is a record uh, number for sneaker shopping. Oh no, so, shit. So he broke he broke a record. Yeah, uh, with uh, overall dollar amount. But the second thing was, dude, there wasn't any Nikes, there wasn't any Adidas, none of that. It was all high end fashion. So anything oh, from yeah. B- Balenciaga to fucking Gucci to Prada, that's all he bought. So um, the crazy thing is, he broke a record. He <laughs> he bought all high end fashion, and he did buy some Smashed clothing. Through a record. Yeah, dude, he even he even bought like some you know shirts and yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff. So it wasn't just sneakers. Um, so for some people that are into high end fashion, I think would love the episode. For me, I didn't like it, but but you couldn't even understand the dude. No, nah, no, nah, he was talking really low, and I just couldn't, you know, I just... Monotone yeah, and stuff. Just and, kinda, yeah, what's it's South, it's got yeah, the slang. Yep. It's got the South slang, but I was just kind of bored with he's it, not, to be honest with you. That's the thing about Future. If you watch any of his interviews, he's never been a fucking over-the-top yeah. animated guy. Never. He's a... Yeah, really low, that, yep, dude. really low talking. That's just what he is. It's, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Joe was kind of talking to him, and I guess, uh, you know, obviously Future uh, spoke on it and said, you know, hey, this is nothing out of the ordinary. You know, he generally drops around 200 racks to 300 racks each month just on clothes. Oh, my God. Holy so, shit. you know, so it was interesting. Where to is see. money coming from? What do you mean? Guy's Dude. making tons of bread. Yeah. He's writing for, for people. He's producing for people. Those songs that he's produced, those beats for that are hit radio, hit records. I mean, he's getting residuals forever on that mm-hmm. shit. Like money coming from all angles. Yeah. All angles. And he's still paying child support to Sierra probably, yeah? Oh, probably. <laughs> so yeah. but, She needs uh, it, too. 
Russ yeah. ain't got enough. She yeah, Russ enough. ain't got enough. She needs it. In Russ we trust. So, yeah, kind of an interesting episode from from the aspect of high-end fashion. But if you're looking for the traditional Nikes and that kind of stuff, he talks about that. Uh, he talks about shopping at Walters, I believe, is the kind of world-renowned place in, in the ATL uh, that he his parents used to shop for him. And his uncle uh, that just got out of jail or prison was talking about uh, getting him, uh, getting future, you know, the, the, the nicest shoes when he could when he was kind of coming up in the game. So, you know, if you're into high in fashion i think it was a good episode otherwise maybe skip maybe skip past yeah it, skip know. bayless skip bayless on it so. um i just wanted to bring up the jordan 11 concord golf shoes yeah mr golf that you are yeah are you did you see they're finally dropping they were rumored forever yeah and now they finally got a release date next month do you they? see that when, yeah. when's when's the actual date according to sneaker news um dude i first started seeing these shits back in like 2015 i think but uh february 15th dude 220 February 15th. February 15th. Day after Valentine's yep. Day. Are they a mid? And you're or on they... PTO, so I don't know why you wouldn't go scoop them. I know. Are they a mid or low? You're taking the next day off. Uh, they're a low. Okay. Yeah. Because I just picked up the low uh, football, football cleats. cleats. Right. They're a low. Which Did you get the regular color or the golf? I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. The Concord. <laughs> I got the bread. Or the bread. That's I right. Bread I got color. the bread uh, mids. Yeah. You got the bread lows. So these ones, you actually be fine. You can cop these Concords, like Concord lows, mm-hmm. golf shoes. Uh, golf spikes February fifteenth two twenty. I think I'll pass on those. Why you have good golf shoes? Already? I'm yeah. I'm using Adidas Boost golf shoes. Oh yeah. Okay. Man. So I got Boost on the loose. What are you gonna do? Yeah. So yeah, that's uh that's outside of the stuff you we talked about there. That's that's really all I had. Yeah. Are you surprised that the Pharrell BYWs and uh, the uh, so the Chinese New Year BYWs and also the Solar Glide Chinese New Years are sitting? No. No? Not no. surprised by that? Well, the the Solar Glide, actually, no, I'm not surprised by either. I think the Solar Glides, they released way too many colorways, the clown joints you have, the yeah. bunch of shit. The black. And, and no one the... really bit on those, so I, it's not a surprise that yeah. those are sitting. BYWs, they're more for a purpose. Like you said, they're hard to style, sure. especially that pair. That's the performance model, right? They yes. have the performance upper, no big tongue or anything? Correct. Yeah, so that's going to be even harder. Like Super stable. You're not buying those for style you're probably, I mean, I assume people yeah. are probably not buying those for style. So you've, you've got to be buying them for basketball. Mm-hmm. Most people already have their basketball shoes right now. You know what I mean? They're for a purpose. No, it doesn't surprise me at all that they're sitting. Yeah. I actually like these solar glides, man. I think they're, I think they're pretty sweet, man. Uh, you know, the red, I'm not a big red shoe guy, so I don't wear a lot of red, but uh, I think it's a pretty well done shoe. I think it's pretty sweet. I was just going to say, once those go into retail, I'm actually probably going to go after yeah. those solar glides. But almost a full size run on SNS right now, currently. Yep. So When was the official drop uh, date on those two? They've been out for a, what, a few days or a week? Uh, I would say a wee, almost a week. Almost a week. Maybe. And they still yeah. haven't sold out. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot. It's not crazy, but it's, uh, it's, just, it's just interesting. Interesting yeah. to see how far that uh, boost has, has come. No, I no, I totally agree with or you. Fallen. I don't uh, even know. There's one other shoe that actually that I forgot about. Have you heard of the Wild Wild West Air Max 97? No. Okay. Let me look. It up. Uh, look up the Air Max 97 Wild West, and tell me what you think of that. Because I know you're not a big Air Max guy, and probably 97s uh, not either necessarily. But I kind of think this shoe's pretty fire. I'll be just I'll be the judge of that. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> see, what see. You, see what you think on that. Whoa. Yeah, you know me in ninety sevens, but uh one of the I think ninety five is the only thing worse than ninety sevens. Yeah, the ninety fives are some stompers for sure. But uh What do you think of these? Dude. What's your what's your first take on that? I really love <laughs> Tell me what you love. Oh man. I like the jean pattern. Okay. I like the fucking red bandana or yeah. handkerchief yeah. kind of sewn in. That my that my dad back in the 70s used to fucking ski with. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, dude. He'd be in his Levi's 501s, dog. That's he'd, Roselli still. He'd have some He'd have some gaiters, yeah. you know, <laughs> that went yeah. from his boot to like his knee. Dude, that's Roselli. Last Seriously. fucking, last year in February, that's dude, what they do. we went skiing. Roselli was in some fucking Levi's. Yeah. He had the gaiters on, ski boots, handkerchief. Basic, a basic fucking basic, zip-up uh, jacket. Yeah. yeah. No ski gear whatsoever, None. dude. Serious. That's so funny. Your dad's the same way, dude. My dad's the same way. But so, my yeah. dad's not. That's weird. That's like my dad has like regular ski gear and just does some regular fucking ski shit. Uh-huh. Roselli's totally opposite. Yeah. Like he does. He's like your dad. Like I wonder why. Why? What happened? Yeah. What? What goes on? How old's your dad? Uh, he just turned sixty-five. See, Roselli, I think is fifty-seven or fifty-eight. My dad's fifty-five. Mm. Uh, I don't know. That's weird. My dad's the old man in the game Jeans. for sure. 
Fucking yeah. jeans. Fucking jeans and gators. So I, I like the jeans. The handkerchief is dope. Not really feeling the tan as much. Yeah. Um, but uh, overall, it would. Uh, I still. It's a lot. I I couldn't. I couldn't cop that shoe, dude. Really? No. So I'm thinking about it right now, and here's why. So this shoe isn't supposed to come out till February 2nd. That's the uh, release date. Champs has it on their website right now. Retail is 180 on these, uh, which seems a little high because uh, you know would I rather buy an Ultra Boost for 180 over right. this? Probably for comfort because 97s aren't the most comfortable shoe, and you go up a half size in 97s. Mm. That's the rule of thumb. So, uh, but they do have it as you see for 180 available. Wow! Right now in almost a full size. You think run. those are gonna have resell? It's hard. It's, it, initially when I looked at them. It feels like they'd be a shoe that has resale. Sure. Here's why I say they won't. But. Uh, because last year was the year of 97s. You know how yeah. many fucking colorways they came out of 97s, right. dog? I just don't see much resale on these. But it is definitely totally different. And what I'll tell you is there's not going to be a lot of places that sell this. Like, you're not going to be able to walk into Foot Locker. I think you're going to have, like, I think it's Champs exclusive. And I think, you know, your boutiques, things of that nature, you're going to find them. So they're going to be more limited in fashion from where you can get them. But uh, I think people are tired of 97s. You know, you look at the off-white stuff, even the 97s, a lot of that stuff is steadily dropping eventually, you know, the used stuff, that is. What happens um, if the second Witherspoon releases? Uh, it will release, and it or looks yeah, like it's, it's it a will. fall release. That Witherspoon, though, however, that'll sell the fuck out. The blue one? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I don't think it's the greatest. I love this first one better. Dude, do you know what the first one's going for? So remember, I had a size 10 and a half, way too fucking big. Traded my boy Ochi, got a size 9. And unfortunately, he lost out on that one because, as you know, the eights, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, and tens are all worth more. My size nine dead stock of the OG Shans going right now in stock X, 730, 750, 770 yeah. dead stock. Yep. It's amazing. I see it. I see uh, the someone has a bid in right now for 780 oh, on a nine. Shit. Yeah, you could just. I should probably sell it. With the extra lace set, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, the one I have. Yep, this is the pair. I should Seven, probably get rid of it. Seven eighty, uh, seven fifty eight in my size and a twelve. So really, not too much difference from yeah. the small to the big. I think these are just expensive across the board. If you go to a thirteen, you jump. It falls into six seventy, which not bad. It's probably the lower on the lower end of prices you're going to well, see for the shoe. And that's the size that you should get. Or no, sorry, no, 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 they, long no, they fuck, run extra they? long. Yeah. That's right. Yep, yep. I probably need. You go, could I go down a half, eleven and a half, maybe? I think you eleven and a half. If I do that, I can get six eighty one. But I, I don't want the shoe. You know me. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, dude. I, uh, I think the blue, the blue ones, they're still is kind of the same to me. It's like, eh, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't really like the yellow and the pink and shit on this one. But I think the blue ones almost look too plain. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's for weird. Sure. I, I wasn't feeling the colors they used initially, but now these ones look too plain. I can't I can't be pleased. I yeah. don't know. Um but yeah, that's uh So the ninety se- so the ninety sevens, you're ninety seven Wild West, yeah, I'm out. out. I'm out on those. It's, it'll be interesting those to see if ugly, those man. Uh, if those have wow. any kind of I just looked on Stock X right now and they didn't even have a photo up. They have them listed. Right. There's no photo. Anybody have any bids or anything? Bids. There are a few bids in. The highest is about 100 and, or I think it's 170 or 200. So, well, not really any 180 money. is what I'd be paying right now for. That's what I'm saying. There's not really chips. money, any money to be made. But, uh, part of me wants to pull the, pull the trigger though. I got it. I got it right here. You're not pulling the trigger on those. Just like you were pulling the trigger on the, what do you mean? What do you, um, Oh, no, that one. Never mind. We were talking about the other shoe. Mm-hmm. I was thinking of the Vans. Or I could get those Vans Masterminds because I got some GOAT credit. I'd feel pretty good about that. Yeah, I might, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go try on the 11 and a half, dude. And if that works, I'm going to fucking cop. Are you going to cop? For sure. Must cop. For sure. Dude, that Must shoe is see. great. Especially, dude, we're barely in January right now. We're going to have a couple more months of fucking heavy snow like this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be stomping. Let me be my snow stompers. Damn. What if you Mike go Rich skiing, in the house. That would be perfect. Get, clank, clank. Get my stompers. What'd you say if you go what? Go skiing. Bring them up there. Yeah. Yeah, getting in and out of the vehicle yep. yeah, before you yeah. get your boots on. Mm. Yeah. That'd be fire. I would love to have the boots with the fur. <laughs> <laughs> we already used, already used that joke on you. I was about to bust it out again. Uh, okay, so is that anything more on shoes? I or think is that's... that on sneaks? Dude, I'm tired. Sneak heavy. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming up uh, to the Sneak end here. Tip. So let's kind of let's kind of wrap up um, with some uh, YouTube comments, mm-hmm. and then uh, I just want to hit on NFL briefly just because of some crazy props and stuff. We're going to be yeah. NFL heavy on Thursday's show, I imagine, right before the Super Bowl. Um, but let's jump into the YouTube comments here. Uh, let's see. We'll start with this, this one here. Brian of Philly. Yo, okay, Dal. That new J. Cole jam is fire. 
Also, did you guys check out the Weezer tw- uh, Teal album? I tweeted you. Uh, so he's talking about when you said the J Cole jam was you didn't like it yeah. wasn't your flavor just yeah. not a you're not a big uh, the da 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 yeah that flow you don't like the flow I don't like the flow uh, so he disagrees yeah. did you check out the we- Weezer Teal album I didn't I haven't checked out the J Cole song let alone the Weezer album Brian I'm, I haven't I've I'll just de- been why does he like does he allude in the comments why he likes the Weezer no I think he just tweeted it he just said it was dope isn't that all covers I think the new Weezer album is all covers That's I'll not, have to look that up that doesn't sound cool to you maybe. I mean, I like their cover of, uh, uh, was it uh, Africa? Yeah. They did with Toto? Yep. Thought they did a hell of a job. Right. I'll check it out. Yeah, I I'll just haven't had time. Same. Um, so let's see. Another dope cast. I got to remember to come to YouTube for the comments. Yes, man. This is where we, this is the only real forum we can fucking Truth. have you guys on. Or hit, them, hit us up on the IG, most underrated <laughs> yeah. podcast. But still, we don't read those comments all the time, though. I try to. Yeah, what do you mean? You don't even ever read comments. What are you talking about? You try to tell me about them and later and then. Or we talk go, about Go them, look in there. I've responded to a few. You've responded you respond, to a few. respond, but I'm saying we don't read them oh, on the show. for sure. For sure. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Correct. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hit us up on the YouTube comments. You want to be, <laughs> be on the cast. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. My bad. Uh, Fuck. Had too many flaming Hot Cheetos this morning. My bad. Actually, uh, I didn't, but. Yeah. Nicholas, TTF and Dow Palantonio dropping some knowledge every cast. Yo, Dow, what's your impressions? Uh, or wait, I'm sorry. Yo, Dow, your impressions of TTF are fucking hilarious, bro. When did you impersonate me? Hmm. Do you remember that? No, I don't Me remember either. that. You must, you're just killing him, though. <laughs> killing him without knowing. Dang. Uh, Nick will never not lie at that Kawhi dra- or the Kawhi laugh. Nice addition. <laughs> <laughs> that is classic. Who the fuck laughs like that? It's nuts. No shit. Uh, regarding your talk on listener demographics, here are my stats. 34, pharmacist, Australian, Italian ethnicity. Be <laughs> cool to hear from others. Loved the thrift find. My best pair, uh, my best was a w- pair of 1.0 Ultra Boost, the silver joints, nice. for $10. And then a pair of Jordan, uh, 1994 Jordan 1s for $5. That's fucking Wow. Yeah, that's steel. good. Depending on the condition, I mean, fuck. That's, unless they're just beat to shit. Yeah. Both of those are steals. Um, it, those silver Ultra Boosts, speaking of that, uh, actually, I'm going to save that shit for Thursday in sneakers. We'll, we'll go over all this shit on Thursday. I have, I have some things Thursday I want to hit on, but <laughs> okay. we'll save that. Um, let's see. From Greg over here. Oh, shit. I just clicked out of it. Damn it. Damn it, Gregorio. Greg, what'd you want? Oh, there we go. Uh, what? Your name is Zach? LOL, amazing. Another great podcast. Always look forward to them. Yeah, dude, it's uh, it's kind of weird. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, what? <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that. Yeah, it's my government issue. Uh, thir- the third eye. Greg Brinker, spot on. Connor McGregor voice. Zach, who the fuck is this guy? Was that a good Connor McGregor? Yeah, that's uh, it's all right. That's decent. What the right? fuck is this guy? Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, Johnny Boost. Good Lord, JJ. You really got excited when they asked you about showing asterisks. <laughs> <laughs> Take that L on the way uh, up. That's funny stuff right there. Um, fuck yourself. <laughs> From the homie Goldeneye, from the key previous cast comments, I agree with, I agree, a Dream Crew podcast would be an L even before it starts. Q is such a sellout. I guarantee the whole thing would just be a commercial. He would just talk a little bit about shoes or whatever and then try to sell you a bunch of shit, which would make me which makes makes me appreciate this podcast more since you guys are 100% real and totally transparent. I don't mind listening for 2 plus hours because I know the content's completely authentic and straight fire. Dow, fuck Kais. Don't let that fake deter you from deter you from buying camo. Franchise, <laughs> I had the humidity dunks and sold them the next day. I was just gently feeling uh, the leather and it made, and it made me and it made a permanent crease. They're nice to look at, while oh my fault. They're nice to look at, but you'll get trashed. They'll get trashed after three to five wears. Even the bow tie is terrible. It's like some crap quality you find at the dollar store. Hmm. You lucked out that you didn't hit for 150. Man, the universe must have aligned perfectly today. Neither of you fools in the doghouse at the same time. Enjoyed the podcast, boys, especially the last two minutes. <laughs> I don't <laughs> even know what that was, but fire, huh? What Sick. were we doing the last two minutes? I like that. I mean, Golden is always always so thorough with yeah. his with comments too. It's like a, it's like I'm reading an email about the show. You know what I mean? Like it comes through. He fucking lays it out all nicely. I like it. It's fucking formatted oh, yeah. nice. Uh, from the homie Danny, I understand why that why Dow feels that way about Cole. I started listening to him when he was just releasing mixtapes and had studio videos on, videos yeah. on YouTube. Back then he had no buzz, but I could tell he was going to blow up. So I tuned in to any new song or video he released. Uh, 
the point I'm trying to make is I have the same feelings about this podcast and I can't wait for you guys to blow too. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a Stringstein drop, but only if JJ has the headphones on. He doesn't have the headphones on. He's fucking outside the studio. He doesn't know what's going on. He's basically fucking walking around, basically almost sucking dick in the corner. No, I'm just kidding. All right. I got to give it to him anyway. He just, he just wanted you to have your headphones on. We're, yeah. People are bringing you sneakers and you still can't okay. come prepared to the cast. Hmm. I'm waiting so I don't rip the fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's my fault. I'll, I'll take the. Uh, that's my fault. I take that L on the way. Out. I'll take the L. I forgot to get him the fucking. I said I was going to get him the adapter yep. on the last cast. All right, oh, my bad, my bad. All right, Dang. it's on me. I'll take that fucking L. Take that L on the way out. He gets the intro music. The world is right. Okay, uh, <laughs> moving on. Sneaks on feet. Love you guys. Can you give me a, my channel a little shout out? Sneakers on feet. He said he started the channel because of us. So mm. you guys like on feet. Um, Check out the channel, man. He's down in the comments. Yeah. Tell uh, that tell that Russian dude or with the ro- Rus- Russian uh, hammer sickle. Where at? That guy uh, that was roasting us saying we'll never do reviews. Go watch it on this channel then. Right. Yeah. Sneakers on feet. Yeah. Go watch it on that channel. Right. No doubt. Fuck out of here. Tons of motherfuckers doing reviews. Shit. Uh, middle child fire, bro. Don't agree with you, but love the cast. Keep up the good work, guys. It is what it is. He About just liked what? it. Middle child. He thought it was fire. Ah, good. Yeah. Nice. Uh from Chris, Dumb and Dumber reference, a lot of laughing. Ha, ha, ha. It goes on for about a mile. Okay. A lot of, la- lot of laughing. That's an exaggeration. Uh, just finished the fire docu. Too much fire. It really was, dude. It was, it, was, it was a crazy anxiety attack. We talked about that the last show. <laughs> it was just fucking nuts, dude. It watching was. that, Watching that thing. Because you just didn't expect like, it got worse and worse and worse. Mm-hmm. And it just kept getting worse and worse. And you're like, what the fuck? Mm. How is this guy not seeing what's going on the around show's him. actually like blowing up now on social media like, really yeah i figured it would because mm-hmm. it's fucking nuts and there's a lot of people that probably saw the homeboys get five million and like i went to that shit i <laughs> played a nice sue because you're fucking idiot totally and that guy had money and now he has more money well there's a, there's an update too <laughs> uh, a good lawyer so everybody was coming after um uh shit what's what's uh billy, billy no 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 the 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 rapper Oh, Ja Rule. Ja Rule. So everybody was kind of coming after him via social media after oh, this you documentary. See his tweets? <laughs> so Jay Z, or uh, not Jay Z, <laughs> Ja Rule went on a tirade with his tweet saying, I was bamboozled. I was lied uh, to. Yeah. All this shit to kind of protect he's himself. Him but that, he's got a couple of civil lawsuits. So just, you know, people to people yeah, uh, yeah. on the civil side, lawsuits that he's dealing with. But uh, he's come out, you know, saying, I was lied to and I was bamboozled and I was this. So he's trying to play himself as a victim too. And it might be. Well, Doc, think about this. I, I honestly agree. I, I believe him it because be. when we watched the documentary, did you notice that the, all, this, all the scenes Ja Rule was in were in the beginning? When they were on the initial island, when they were setting it all up, when they were shooting the promo video. When they were actually having the real party right, that were, nobody got. When they were having the real fun, <laughs> yeah. which was the promo video shoot. Correct. If you watch the documentary, they all the models. they're like, this shit did happen, but it happened for the people, the 60 people, the cast and crew that filmed the fucking, and all the models that filmed the promo commercial. Totally. That's where the real fire Festival was. Absolutely. What everyone else got, the shit show that everyone else <laughs> yeah. got was not it. And yeah. that's what Ja Rule was there for. He was there for the promo. He was there for that, all that shit. He wasn't even in the any of the shots once you got into the second portion right. of it. He was never even brought up or in it on any of the other portion. It was never like, yeah, well, Ja Rule was going to get financials from this person or Ja Rule was putting in this money or Ja Rule went and got booked this talent. You never heard another word about Ja Rule. Never. He was fucking like literally involved at the beginning of the face of it. And I don't know if he got bamboozled or if he just saw the ship sinking and he was like, yo, this is fucking going to be a disaster. I'm out and distancing myself. Yeah. But I didn't see any more about Ja Rule Sure. After that portion. The latest rumor also is that uh, there might be some civil uh, lawsuits against some of the models. Oh, no shit, huh? Who were, who were out there having a oh, good time yeah. and, and putting their stamp on this saying, hey, you got to come and hey, we're going to be here uh, with all of... Because a lot of them did that with Kendall their social media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid. Um, those are just some of the models. I don't know if Emily Rajakowski is a part of this, but a few of these models uh, you know, might have some civil lawsuits to deal with as well. So. Crazy. But yeah, that's all I got on that. Um, let's hit on a couple quick other headlines and then we'll finish out with uh, some NFL prop bets. Uh, so Anthony Davis. Yeah. Let's talk about him. Hmm. The trade talks, New Orleans Pelicans. It just came out actually this morning. This morning, yep. Just came down that he will not sign the $240 million extension to stay in New Orleans. What do you think about that? Um, Where's he going to go? I don't blame him. Uh, L.A. I think I think Magic Johnson is going... It, dude, Magic Johnson head is boiling over right now on what he's going to do. So what I say is ta-ta. What are they going to give New Orleans, though? Well... Tata Lonzo, 
Tata, Brandon Ingram. All to New Orleans? That's a start. They're going to have to pay the shit out of uh, New Orleans to, to, to make this deal happen. But I think Magic Johnson is going to make this deal work. I think you're going to see Anthony Davis as a Laker in a Laker uniform, best friends with uh, LeBron. Here's the good news. Tell, me the, tell he, me the good news. He can't go to Golden State. No. <laughs> they don't have, <laughs> that, they don't have the, no money. Thank God. Thank God, right? That I is mean, the good news. That's, like, that's the fucking good news for the Holy league. shit. Uh, I mean, are, are they the Patriots of the league, of the uh, NBA, or are Absolutely. they worse? Absolutely. Uh, what do you think? You, you consider Patriots worse or them worse? Who do you, who do you dislike more? And who do you think uh, – uh, that's a two-part question. Yeah, who do you dislike more personally? Personally. Uh, yeah, personally, I, I hate the Patriots. Just more. In, in our okay. – in, in more in our division. You know, they've – you know, we've given them a couple L's with Peyton In our Manning. conference, not yeah. our division. But or, yeah. Sorry, in our conference. Yep. But uh, – for me, they're they're just that good. They're right. just they're just easy to hate because they are a dynasty, and there's there's no arguing that. But that being said, what do you said, think the world thinks? The country, I mean, um, country is it more Patriots or more uh, Warriors hate? I think I think right now I think it's still more Patriots mm. than the Warriors, just because the Warriors haven't done everything that the the Patriots have over year after year after year. It's getting damn damn close. Yeah, you know, but uh, I still think it's Patriots. What do you think? Interesting. Oh, for me personally, it's no fucking question. It's the Warriors. Really? It's, oh, easily, dude. Not even okay. close. I think the Patriots put in so much more work, dude. Not to say the Warriors don't put in work, but there's five guys on the court at a time. They yeah. play both sides of the ball. One player can make such a difference in the NBA. Mm-hmm. One player doesn't make fucking squat in the NFL. Correct. You saw, we've seen tons of times where teams have gone out and loaded up in free agency and just been dog shit. Mm-hmm. Spent a ton of money in free agency, gotten multiple big time players. And uh, they didn't make the playoffs. Right. Football is such a team game. Mm-hmm. And to have, I mean, we're talking about a guy with Tom Brady's accolades. If you didn't know anything about the game or you didn't know anything about the team or the man and you just knew football and someone said, all right, there's this guy. There's going to be this guy come along, Tom Brady. He's going to do all this shit. How many Hall of Fame wide receivers do you think he'd have? He's going to win five Super Bowls, going to win a bunch of MVPs, going to yeah. be in the AFC Championship fucking eight years in a row, whatever, all these accolades. You would think this guy has... The, the Hall of Fame of Hall of Fame, the Jerry Rice's, dude. the Antonio Browns, you would the think, everybody. Right? Who? Who is his? Who are his Hall of Fame fucking wide receivers? Maybe I would say the only one. Could, Wes Wes Welker no, uh, off the off the Randy what, Moss. That's yeah, it. Randy and he was Moss. there brief, dude. Yeah. Brief. Gronk's gonna be a Hall of Famer, so if he's not a wide receiver, but fuck right. it, throw him in there. Yeah. Those are the only two motherfuckers that are gonna be Hall of Fame mm-hmm. on the on the offensive side of the ball besides himself that he's ever worked with. Yeah, I agree. that's insane, dude. Yeah, think about that, man. That is nuts. Yeah, you got he was fucking throwing to Troy Brown at one point, and all these, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like then Troy Brown started playing defense. Like they're just they outwork everyone. Yeah, they beat everyone in May and June and July. Belichick out coaches everyone mm-hmm. before the season even starts, dude. Yeah, it's 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 mind blowing to me what they do and what they're able to do in this league and be the mo- to be the model of consistency year after year. Now I know. You can you can talk about Deflate Gate, you can talk about Spygate, uh, Spy any of the other shit. But after after that shit went down, those were also not rules either at the time. People want to call people want to throw cheating and shit out there. There was no real rule against Spygate until Bill Belichick did it, and they yeah. said, "Hey, you can't do that." Can't do that because Bill Belichick was taping practice, which you were or, uh, taping the uh, games and and everything like that. And you're able to do that. You're not able to tape the sidelines. He was taking the game film matching it up with the sideline film. He's like, yeah, fuck, we're already filming this. Why not film this? There was no rule you couldn't tape the sidelines. He got in trouble for taping the sidelines, but he really didn't get reprimanded, if you remember. Josh McDaniels got reprimanded when he was doing it with the Broncos, and then he got fucking fired Mm -hmm. because that way was like, we're not putting up with that shit because he knew the rules, and he still violated the rules. Bill is always pushing the rules. I don't think, I think that's just an ultimate competitive advantage that he goes for. I don't think that he's a fucking dirty guy. I don't think he's a dirty coach. I don't think he's a cheater. I think he outworks everyone. Well, looking outside of the box, that's what allowed him to outcoach anybody. Right. Now, whether you it's Spygate or anything like he that. Looks way outside he looks the box. way he outside looks of the box. Every possible advantage coaching. you can get. Yeah. Why do you think they're the fucking model of cutting guys two years before their contracts up when they're still in their prime, yeah. getting what they can out of them because they know they're not going to pay them big money? Why do you think they've do they've cut so many players like that and they just continue to keep it moving? They tried to do it with Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Why do you think there was a whole issue with Garoppolo and all that? I just think it's a lot harder to do what the Patriots have done than what the Warriors have done. Not to discount what they've done, but it's really not that hard. Sure. You have the best fucking shooter in league history in Steph Curry. You got a uh 
I, I, I don't. I would say Draymond Green's a, uh, a great big man down below, but a really solid, really solid guy there. You got Clay Thompson, one of the other best shooters in the league. Yeah, just a pick and pop guy. Look at LeBron going back to Cleveland. Sure, he had Kyrie. Yeah. What else did he have? <laughs> Nothing. Culver, not a ton, and he still made. That's what I'm saying. He still made it. Yeah, Kyle Korver, Kyle get Korver. out of here. Uh, yeah. Kevin Love, okay. Yeah, he still made it to the NBA Tristan finals. Thompson, get the that's fuck what out I'm here. trying to say. That's yeah. the point I'm trying to make. I he agree. still got all the way to the NBA finals on LeBron's back. One or two people. You're not fucking getting to AFC Championship Can't after AFC Championship on Tom Brady's back. Yeah, you're not doing that. We saw Elway carry Broncos teams uh, to Super Bowls in the late '80s and early '90s, and let's be real—he really was carrying those motherfuckers. And he was getting killed in the Super Bowls, killed, not beat, killed. You just can't do it in the NFL the way you can do it in the NBA. Yeah, that's that's my point. That's my point. That's right. That's where I stand on it. Uh, so the good news is he can't go to the Warriors. Gotcha. Where do you think he's going? Uh, I think I think you're a spot on either with LA or I think Boston. I think Bo- New Orleans would like to send him to Boston because sure. Boston has a lot of pieces that they can give. The only problem is. Let's say there. This is early rumor talk, but let's say um, uh, Kyrie Irving over there in Boston, mm-hmm. they trade him to New Orleans to mm-hmm. get Anthony Davis. Now I don't know if they're going to do that. This is early rumor shit. Sure, but they can't. Um, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They trade pieces to get Anthony Davis over there with Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. in Boston. I'm sorry, not yeah. sending Kyrie to New Orleans. So maybe you get rid of Tatum. Maybe you get rid of uh, what is it, Scary Terry over there, Terry Rozier. Uh, I'm trying to think of who you might get rid of, but yeah, but Marcus but, Smart. The whole problem is right now they can't trade. They want to, they would like to, or teams would like to get him now for yeah, the playoff. Run. Sure. They can't get, Boston can't get him now because of, there's some kind of clause in the contracts between him and Kyrie that doesn't allow them to be on the same team until after this season. Oh, for really? some weird, yeah. Huh. Some, I was reading up this morning on it. So some weird thing, they can't be on the same team right now. But I think that would be the weird. number one the yeah. number one team, the number one partner. To get him over there, Boston would like to bring him in, partner him with Kyrie, build a little something there. Right. Uh, well, that Boston, would be, Boston's got a lot of trepidation right now with what they're going to do. Gordon Hayward coming back. Yeah. Dude, they're, just, they're not having a lot of consistency right now of winning. You know, they'll, they'll win one and then they'll lose two or three, then they'll win one. Um, they just lost a big one to Golden State. You know, and that, that was actually a great game. They only, I think, what, they lost by like five or six? This Saturday, I think something like that. But uh, great game. But yeah, I think Boston's looking for. You know, there was there were some early talks. You know, even a couple months ago, like what what is Boston going to do? Man, they're in ruins right now. You know, but yeah, we'll see. Did you um? Did we have? I'm trying to find this comment. Maybe it got deleted about uh not us not knowing what we were talking about about UFC. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw that and it disappeared. It's not. On oh, there it's anymore. not on there anymore no. either. You mm-hmm. you tried to find it. I tried to find it. I don't know. Because, uh, yeah, we admitted that we don't know a lot, but we know about some cards. Like one of us or two of us, you know, the both of us together will figure it out. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember what the comment said exactly. Here's what I would say. What would you uh, say? The, the, basically, the comment said, hey, guys, love the fucking podcast, but you shouldn't talk. You should stay away from UFC and boxing because I could tell you're not passionate about it and you boxing, don't know. It, yeah. the, the info is awful and blah, 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 blah. Basically, like, basically it's saying that the info was awful. Okay. The, the, which... That's fine. Uh, I think the dude's name was Irvin. Irv. I must call Irv. him Irv. If you want to come through and give constructive criticism, I don't, I don't give a fuck at all. Like, we'll, we'll take that on the chin. We'll take that all on the way out for fucking shit up. But just like I was telling you earlier with my girlfriend, are we arguing from a point to jab motherfuckers? Or are we arguing from a point to try to get better and improve? Mm. To me, you you gave criticism, but there was no constructive because you didn't tell me what we fucked up. You didn't tell me what info was wrong. Yeah. You didn't tell me what was wrong with it. So I can't learn. I can't go fact check anything. I can't better myself. I can't say I misspoke because I don't even know what the fuck. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I don't know. Like so, you need you need to do a better job of if you want to give criticism or constructive criticism, or if you want us to get better. Let me know what to get better at. Yeah. I can't read your mind. I can go back and listen to the segment. Does that still mean I'm going to know that, I, that I'm still going to know what you were incorrect about or what I was incorrect about? I said at the beginning, I don't follow UFC religiously. Mm-hmm. I follow the big fights. Yeah. I know some shit here and there. I have to. I have to Deter, I have to like rely on my boy. Yeah, Mueller, Mueller Edgar. We talked to people you know that saying? know that know uh, MMA and shit in our in our circle. Mm-hmm. But I don't think um, to, for us to just to stay away from it altogether and not bring anything up. I don't think that's I think that's stupid. Yeah, you know, there's a big fight this weekend or a big fight coming out of the weekend. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm really curious to see what was so bad about the info. All we were yeah. doing was talking about what happened to Dillashaw, what happened at the fight, da 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 da. You know, sure. So I'd really di- like to know what was so bad so I can get better or correct it. Is that why you deleted your comment? Not Man. you, him. I'm talking right, of him. course. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, sure. 
dude, I've been getting this. This is so crazy, bro. I've been getting like this chick used to reach out to me all the fucking time trying to get me to do a Poshmark commercial. Okay. I thought she worked for Poshmark. She used to hit me up, like send me mad emails, mad emails. Seth Fowler did one. I know. And I just, breads. I just didn't want to do it. I just, <laughs> I just didn't want to do, I don't use Poshmark. I don't even know what the fuck it is. And I just no. don't like to pump shit I don't use. And I think in the comments, I know we talked about a lot about people selling out and Kais Omar selling out and all this stuff. I think there's a big difference between selling out and getting paid. And I don't know sure. that I didn't follow Kais before, so I can't tell you before he was big or sneakers. I didn't come up on that guy, so I don't know what he was doing before. But all I can tell you is this show is going to grow. Things are going to change. Sponsors are going to come through. We're going to try to eventually make a fucking living off the show. I'm going to try my hardest and I'm going to try to do everything I can to not actually, I'm not going to say I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to do everything I can to not let any of that shit compromise the show and compromise what you guys enjoy. Sure. But to say there might not be a commercial in this bitch here and there to say there might not be, it's, it's stupid Yeah. because if we want to grow and like you said, if you want, I want you guys to blow up, uh, quit my real job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that has to, that money has job. to come from somewhere. Yeah. Now, whether we, you, we start with Patreon or whether we, you know, sponsorships, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. uh, that shit's going to happen, dude. It's going to happen whether you, that's part of growth. What's up? I feel like Patreon would be the best way to go about it because it's controlled by us and no one else. Mm-hmm. And, Which yeah. is what the podcast is currently. Can yeah. help you know prove I mean? our point even more. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Like so it. yeah, that's something that I think we're going to look into. But yeah, I, I would just, uh, I would just look at it, kind of look at it from both sides, man. Don't, you know, cause someone does a lot of ads or whatever. It doesn't always mean they're selling out. It just means they're, they're trying to, they're trying to live. Like I said, I don't, I don't criticize Seth for getting all the free shit and just doing reviews on literally every fucking sneaker that drops. Cause that's what his channel's based on. He's trying to keep it alive. He does, you know, he literally, if you like, if you like any sneaker, you can go to his channel. There's probably a review on it and he may review a ton of shit you don't like, but he's probably going to review some shit you like too. Cause he reviews everything. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's where I'd kind of leave it on that with the YouTube comments. Sure. Uh, if we're, if we're about to end, I was just going to bring up one other, uh, side note here on, uh, something that I was maybe looking at bringing onto the podcast. And again, not consistently necessarily, but you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty techie. That's what I love about shoes, right? Packaging the tech about it, that kind of stuff. Kind of like Seth Fowler when he first uh, started his shoe reviews. Have you heard of the new, uh, Bose sunglasses that just came out? No. Gotcha. So you may not Bose like making them. Sunwear or sunglasses now? They are. So you remember when Dog the Bounty Hunter <laughs> was wearing his Bose sunglasses and he had these little uh, like uh, they dropped ear, off the, yeah, 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 that would actually go into the ear. So you had like buds that would yeah, go yeah. in your ear from the glasses. Yeah. Seems like a lot, right? Yeah. You know, I love my AirPods. I, I fuck with those heavy. So Bose just redid some sunglasses and they actually have speakers that are built into the frame and it's strategic enough where it doesn't make the frames too fat. I'll let you look at them here in a second. Um, but these speakers, them right now, yeah, yeah, these speakers are designed to actually go right into your ears cause they're on the bottom half of both of the uh, frames on both sides. And supposedly people in around you and you know, in a small office like yeah. this where there's no other noise going around, you could probably hear them a little bit, yeah. but in regular everyday traffic, walking outside, you wouldn't be able to hear these, which I think is pretty sick. And if we know anything about bows, they're they probably can, true. They can, cram a, accurate, they can yeah. cram a lot of fucking sound in a small amount. Like that's what they've known for yep. in their speakers. They're like their, their home theater stuff. But, uh, there is one store that has them. Our castle rock, but ha- outlets has, has a Bose store there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're the only ones in the Denver area that actually can go test these out and actually buy them from them. Are you so, interested? I am. I'm interested. They have two Ooh, different tiny. frames. They have, uh, they have the alto, uh, the alto frame and they have the Rondo and the, Dude. the alto looks kind of like a, like a way wayfarer, you yeah, know, from yeah, yeah. Ray-Ban and then the Rondo is more round. So it's more circular. I think a lot of, you know, look great on the women. Uh, but I kind of like, like Harry a, Potter looking joints. Yeah. They kind of look like Harry Potter, but, uh, I think I could fuck with that wayfarer looking one, which is the alto. I, I might give that a try. No, I can't. These look I can't like do any of plastic this. sunglasses you yeah. get for free from like Samsung. Yeah, or some like shit. a giveaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like classic like wa- plastic wafers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. everyone gives out. The style is taking out. It's it's not. good. That's your issue with them. Yeah, the style. You don't like the style. So you don't like the style. Tacky. So if they came out with a style you like, would you try them? Uh, maybe. Do you even wear glasses, anyways? I've never seen you even wear a pair of sunglasses. I would like to have some sunglasses, but obviously I can't afford some sunglasses. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a pair. I've got oh, eight Jesus, pairs this guy's coming up. Okay, I've got eight pairs of sunglasses. I'm gonna get you a pair because I'm gonna buy this pair Sounds and good. I'm gonna bring it in here and we're gonna give it a fucking review. 
I'm just saying. I'm prepared to do that. When you're wearing sunglasses, you want them stylist like. You want them to like compliment your clothes essentially. This. This looks like I'd rather some it compliment my face. Looks- I'd rather it block some sun. I'd rather it compliment my face and maybe block a little bit of sun. Maybe protect from the UVs, JJ. But these aren't polarized, though. They are not. They do not come in a polarized, but they can still protect you from the UVs. What the fuck are you talking about? Doesn't have to be polarized. If I uh, here's my thing. By looking at them, you know, you know, by you see what I'm wearing. Yeah. I have fucking two different pairs of these. Yeah. Different colorways. I love them. I go to some classic Wayfarers here and there. I have mm-hmm. a pair, uh, but they're not. They're not uh, my go-tos. These are my go-tos. These joints, I don't. Not my, no, I'm not a fan. Couldn't do it. <laughs> no, you know I like the Italian drug dealer joints. Like if I these block sun and I can wear them inside, I, they look. I can I can see out of them well yeah. in You're any an situation. Apple, dude, what's wrong with fucking AirPods? And that's what I was just gonna say. I, love I also wear AirPods all the time, and I fucking love the AirPods. Like mm. I can't. That is my salute. Not only that's why I'm so far out on these. Like not only. You know, do I want a pair of glasses that look like I'm doing coke on a boat and they don't have fucking have these here. But number two, I want a pair. I'm already I'm good. I found this fucking pairs of glasses I love and I have my AirPods that offer a bunch of different features. There's no way. There's no reason for me to spend two hundred dollars on these. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. It's not that I don't think it's going to work or it's not cool, but also um Man, I don't want to have to have my speakers die, and now I have to take my sunglasses off to charge them. Mm-hmm. Now I have no sunglasses and no music or yeah. no fucking sports talk in my ear. Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff that it's just a solution that I don't need. Yeah. It's a problem that I don't have. You that know, does sense. that make sense? That's I'm just I'm, I'm just techie and I'm interested. I love new tech and I want yeah. to try stuff. Right? Yeah. You know, there is a return policy, and I'll see what that is and see if it's worth it. But there's something about this that just makes me want to try it. I actually like the look. I've got two pairs of sunglasses that I won't give you that look kind of like this frame, JJ. So fuck you for that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> number two, uh, here's the only downfall. So I did a little research on these. So yes, they're, they come with a $200 price point. Pretty steep. Ouch. Right? And they're not polarized. I think that's a negative. I like I polarized. I could get some nice beat. I could get AirPods. I could get some nice beat wireless headphones for that. Oh. Dude. You can also get two pairs of shoes given to you as well. So let's move on. <laughs> Uh, so, the, so the two hundred dollar <laughs> price point pretty high. Damn. Yeah. Number two, they do not come in a polarized. I love polarized. You know, here in the mountains, we have water here. We have a lot of snow, and polarized works great for reflection. Okay, just helping with dealing with the reflection that you're going to get off of the snow or whatever it is. Um, and then number three, it takes two hours to charge these. That's two hours, like you said, that you don't have your sunglasses. More importantly, two hours to get three hours of playback. Damn. So that's a problem, right? So the batteries aren't very large in these because they can't be, or else the fucking glasses would be too big. Yeah, I don't need these. And they'd these. be even worse looking than what they look like now. <laughs> I'm surprised you're that interested. It's that's on that why first there's gen wireless shit. headphones. Yeah, well, it's not first gen. It's first gen of kind of this design because they've done the speaker oh, stuff, right. yeah, you know, yeah. with the headphones that come out of the, the Oakleys back in the day that Dog the Bounty Hunter wore. But uh, for yep. me, I just want to hear, I want to hear the sound. I know the sound's going to be fucking awesome. I think it's a great concept to actually not have extra stuff in your ear years extra stuff to charge you have a one solution but the solution isn't quite there yet right if it's two hours to charge and i get three hours of life okay i know that if i'm take that trip to new york right i damn sure know that i was walking downtown more than fucking three hours right so then what now i don't have a pair of sunglasses and now i have to charge something as well what if i get that what if i forget that charger and then all these other elements come in doc the the thing is so fire about the airpods the case is so small this is always in my freaking pocket right and this shit would literally charge my AirPods from dead to fully charged in like 10 to 15 yeah. minutes. You know how fast that shit charges. And you have a charger built into this and your AirPods hold right. the charge. So it's right. kind of a multi, multi. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it's just a solution I don't yeah. need, bro. Multiple solutions in this. But it creates more issues, I feel for like. Me, for me, for yeah. me. But I like the techiness. Uh, from what I've seen, great reviews. Those are kind of the three downfalls, unfortunately. And those are pretty, pretty big ones if you're pretty picky about, especially spending two, 200 bucks on a yeah, pair of glasses. Like, but uh, I don't know, man. I'm interested in kind of maybe reviewing them here and seeing what they look like and, and kind of all of us giving, a, giving it a shot and see um, and then moving on from there. But first, first thoughts, I, I, think, I, think, I think we covered it. Yeah. So um, let's, close on, uh, let's close on NFL props. Have you guys seen any of the prop sheets, looked at any of the props? Do you guys know what fucking props are? Uh, did you see – have you seen any of them? I know what props are, but no, I haven't seen any for this specific one. I'll go over a couple of them with you. Also, I want to see, I wanted to throw this out there. I don't even know how we would do it, man. But I wanted to throw this out for the listeners. I would love to do a fucking 
prop sheet tournament with all of you guys. So in order to make this work, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find a, if you guys are interested in doing this shit, let me know, man. And I'll put it in Thursday's fucking thing. I'll put a prop sheet in Thursday's uh, in the cast. So let me know in this set of comments, man. If you guys want prop sheet, it's going to be 10 bucks per sheet. And it's just, it'll have like 25, 30 props on it, whatever. You go, you answer each question with what you think is going to happen. So for example, how long will it take Gladys Knight to sing the national anthem this year? Over one minute, 47 seconds, under one minute, 47 seconds. All you got to do is check a box over or under. That's where it's at. And the per the person that gets the most props correct or scores the most points will be the winner. I think that's the best way to do it. You just take the whole pot, $10, as many entries as you want. But the hard part is facilitating it. So if this is something you guys want to do, here's my idea. If you have a better one, let me know. But I think we can do, I'll put the bracket or I'll put the prop sheet in the description of the next uh, podcast on Thursday. You download that prop sheet. It drops on, it, that podcast will drop on Friday. You have plenty of time. You download the prop sheet, fill it out, take a picture of it with your phone, do whatever. Send it to most underrated podcast at gmail.com with your name. Your name needs to be on your entry so I can also verify the payment. Then you're going to go click the link. I'll put Venmo, PayPal, Cash App all in the description below. Whatever one you want to do, make sure you put your name in the comment there. I think Venmo is the easiest. I think you leave comments on every single one, but mm-hmm. put your name there, 10 bucks, PayPal to me or whatever. So then I can match up. All right, fucking John Dean sent in his entry for... Uh, the I have his his prop sheet here. Then I also have John Dean ten dollar payment. I can match them up easily. Does gotcha. that make sense for you guys? So like you you would have to have your name the same as like your Venmo name or your Cash App. No, name. you just no? need to put the name in the comments. Okay, I'm not gonna look at the fucking Venmo name. It could be Squirrely Boy eighty four twenty two. I don't give a fuck. Gotcha. Uh, what I care about is does the comment whatever you wrote in the comments John Doe does that match John Doe on the fucking okay. the entry for the gotcha. uh, email. So when you send in the prop sheet in the email, attach your name in the su- put your just put your name in the subject. Then when you send the payment, just put your name. Make sure they match. That's it. Is that simple enough? Easy enough. Or you think it's going to be too hard? I think it'd be good. And if you can't follow those instructions, maybe you should don't play. Then I can't. Yeah, I mean it's going to be obviously I'll give you your money back, but if you fucking send a different name with the entry and I can't match it up, and now all of a sudden I have eighty extra dollars, I'm gonna have to try to figure out who the fuck didn't get in, who couldn't follow the instructions. Now I got to give eighty bucks back. Like it's a lot of work. So I'll get your 10 bucks back if you can't follow the instructions, but it may be fucking delayed. And that's your bitch ass fault for not following instructions. So just make sure it's the same on each. If you guys want to do this, we'll, uh, we'll make it concrete on Thursday. We'll fucking yeah. make it concrete. We're already doing the $10 DraftKings tournament for, for Super Bowl Sunday. So that's still going to go down. That'll be in the uh, description on, on Thursday as well, or um, on Friday's podcast when it drops. And then these props will also be there. So if that's something you guys want to do, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And uh, we can do that. Mm-hmm. The next one, will Gladys Knight forget or uh, omit a word from the national anthem? Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Very simple stuff there. But this is all stuff that you could bet on in Vegas, and they all have odds. Yes is plus 300, meaning you'd have to put down a, a, um, 100 bucks, and you'd win 300 if she fucks up the anthem at all. Wow. But if she doesn't fuck up, she's negative 500. So if you want to get paid off, no. If you don't think she's going to, you'd have to put up 500 just to win 100. To win 100. So you'd have to put up 50 to win 10. Mm. Makes sense? Mm. So it's kind of a long shot there on that. Now, obviously, on the prop sheets, you guys just got to select yes or no. We don't need the odds or anything. You know, right. the odds don't matter to you because we're doing one flat thing. Uh, oh, what about this? Will any scoring drive take less time than it takes Gladys Knight to sing the national anthem? Ooh. Look at that. That's fucking tricky shit That's right there, right? That's fire. Which team will score in the first six and a half minutes? Or which team will score first? In six and a half minutes of the in the first six and a half minutes of the game, um, that's one. Obviously, Patriots or Rams are your offer. Uh, which team will score first? Patriots or Rams? What will the first score of the game be? Touchdown, field goal, safety, or actually, it's just two options. It's touchdown, and then it's field goal or safety. Um, which team will get the first penalty? Patriots or Rams? Which team will use the coach first coach's challenge? Scoring pops, props, longest touchdown in the game over under 46 and a half yards, all that stuff. So we'll find a prop sheet. There's a ton of them on like Bleacher Report and different things. So if you're having your own little Super Bowl party, it's a fun way. Uh, that's the easiest. That's what we do at my shit. We print out the prop sheets. I pass them out. Everyone fills it out in the room. We ante up. We fucking grade them at the end of the shit. So dope. yeah, it's dope. So I'll choose a uh, prop sheet if this is something you guys want to do. I'll post it in the description. You download it. You fill it out. You, you send a picture to most underrated podcast at gmail.com. And then you uh, send your entry to the Venmo or the PayPal, whatever you want to use. 
Um, I, I think, think it's fire, man. Yeah, another way, another to, way to make it more interactive, man, with our people. Just getting to know our people. I love it, man. So if that's something you guys want to do, let me know. Uh, 10 bucks each, I think, is good. Good for that. 10 bucks yeah. there. 10 bucks for the DraftKings. Um, that's about all I got, man. It's kind of, we can kind of close on that. It's going to be Super Bowl heavy on Thursday. Obviously a lot of headlines probably coming with the press conferences of the team. Someone's going to probably say something stupid. Hopefully somebody gets caught with a hooker. We can talk about that <laughs> shit. You know how it goes, man. We need some, we need some content over here. True that. But, uh, other than that, man, I think that's about all. Anything more for you guys? Want to wrap up on? Good, good to go. No, we good. Dope. Big shout out to Con Lee again for hooking JJ up with the shoes. Oh, shout yeah. out to homie Rich for the it. cups. And, uh, as always, man, we will see you fools Friday.